What is this? Is this grime? A little grime? We're back with the ONA program in studio. Rich Voss. What's happening, man? And his fiance Bonnie on the lesbian couch. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't sit where you're sitting, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what he was licking when we came in. Ugh. Uh, I, listen, I'm a little tired. Hey, uh, I'm, uh, yeah, it's not about blame you, it on that. Bag. Let me in, uh, introduce your friend well, here, you Dave Mordow. you looked at me already. And Dave Mordow. Good morning. How, hey, I, 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 I can't believe you've never met Anthony. I never met I, Anthony. No, I just heard really great things. I really did. Honestly, I feel, I feel as like much I know as you guys you hate Rich Voss, he talks about Anthony like he... Uh, me he, and Rich have such What did you say last night? How much he carried this show? I said he's a genius. <laughs> yeah, that's what he, he is. He's, yeah, a, he's an ad lib genius. Yeah, and then you said that the continually over the bit we were listening to, so I never did get to hear him. <laughs> you know, I just I, I, Anthony's brilliant. Opie's good with the knobs. Oh, yeah, knows how to turn it off. He knows the volume. He knows the volume from bass. I know. Rich Voss feeling good in front of his friends. No, no, just because I got. I'm just having all my. I'm getting all new windows from Hillsboro Glass, so I, you know, I'm in a good mood. What is Hillsborough's glass, Rich? They're they're putting in the windows at my house. Oh, they are. Oh, so they're good at that kind of stuff. Uh, then? I already earned my money. Uh, and look go, what else yeah. I got that oh, I I bought for you guys. Uh, my, you're gonna like this. My new T-shirt that says Voss sucks. Voss I'm gonna sucks. go with the flow from the message boards. Right. Ugh. <laughs> they carry it today. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? Wait. You, oh, man, I can't wait for Hillsborough Glass to get over to your why, house today. Why are you making it this easy for us to kill you today? Cause I'm just that is get, the I'm worst gonna... font you could you could choose for yeah, a, a T-shirt. Yeah. What do you mean? It's you a might black well... shirt that says Voss sucks in the worst just white yeah. basic font. White yeah, because I'm just a plain guy. I'm an yeah. average guy. I like it, actually. Yeah, do you, you like that? Yeah, us. I do. I actually do like it. No distractions or anything. It's Nothing. right there. Yep, no cleverness that you got to get. No. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just a black shirt with yeah, truth on. Yeah, it. no good taste. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't you save money by coloring them on there and then just kind of ironing it so it goes the wax stays in? That's what I wanted to do, but you know, just a couple guys that can call in from the boards and get one. Can you I know, have one? Dave? you could have one, but I don't have triple X. <laughs> You you lost hey, weight. You look good. You look, you do look good. Oh thanks. He's got a, a roll. Quiet, David up Richard. Oh, no, you look really good. I like the hair. And uh, uh, Dave was well. saying just before we went on on Mike's here uh, that he stayed at uh, Voss's place. Is that the first time you've stayed there? Yeah, that's the first place I've stayed at the new place. Yeah. It's creepy, it, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> it's he's, really creepy. He's so proud of this. You should hear him talk about his decorator. Like there's <laughs> like there's somebody that really exists that did it. You know. <laughs> Like, he didn't just find it that way and just move stuff around. He's got furniture that people oh, have died on. We, we, <laughs> yes. Yes. We moved the furniture. You know how uh, obsessive compulsive this moron is. We moved the furniture last night about four and a half inches. He could barely watch the movie. Oh, man. Because, really? because the marks on the carpet weren't. It was so uncomfortable. What a man. And then we had to move it back. It took, like, actually about four or five minutes to actually line it up. And it, it's, he's such a. You're dude. another OCD guy? Yeah, well, you he's know, you want things the way you want them. You know, your house is your house. I, I'm we're not going to argue it. with you on that one. I Those understand, but. Funny comedy we're watching. Hotel Rwanda last night. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> Did you watch yeah. that? You know, he should have won that Oscar, hands down. I said oh that. Oh, my God. God. This is like deja vu. I Anthony was saying that. it like, just before the show. You want me to tell you why he didn't win it? You want me to give you the main? Oh, boy. No, <laughs> listen to me. You, yeah. see, you see Norton's eyes get really Only wide. because <laughs> whenever the hands go off, yeah. it's not going to be smart. No. <laughs> 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 exactly. Exactly. Listen, listen to me. Uh, Here's the thing. Uh, that happened in 94 during the Clinton administration. Uh -huh. So the Academy did not push that or give him the Oscar because they knew millions of people would go see the movie. He won the Oscar, and people would know how bad that administration was during it. So, you know. Like it matters at this point? Yeah, because if we well, ever invented a time machine yeah. and gone back to that well, era, isn't that a good you theory? You really criticize him yeah. and shake your finger at yeah. his face and go, you. Now he doesn't get to be president again. Well, also <laughs> because. Of course, because of the amendment also, but. <laughs> Wow, what a! I wonder how long well, it took him to come up with that. You know. Well, I, now just... I got to defend the left. I, 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 I got to disagree with that. There's probably some other reasons, but behind like the, the I'm, you know, because it's not like a, a fun role like Ray Charles was. But I don't think anything. Uh, that's a fun role. The guy's banging no, dope no, 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 and no. screwing people on the road. But it's still a positive role. Yeah, yeah it all works out. He's a blind guy, politically correct. Kind of like your life. It works out. Should have won though. Yeah. yeah. He, he, yeah. The guy, the guy's really good. Yeah, he was. He was. Nothing. When I met him, Don Cheadle, 
He came up to me at the golf course. He goes, oh, I saw you on Last Comic. He goes, uh, you know, you were funny. I'm friends with a director. Then I saw him like five minutes later. I go, can we take a picture together? I went from a peer to a fat chick like that in a second. Uh, I mean, I actually just call myself a peer with Donnie. Yeah, exactly. You, know? yeah, you, you went did. from a peer? Boy, <laughs> throw yourself come? off one. Uh, how you haven't won an Oscar, I don't know. I mean, because uh, I don't I know if you saw the guy. See, now it's catching. Now I suck. Now you I should start riding, riding your car. That he asked him for his five iron. <laughs> <laughs> hey Dave, can I ride in your golf racist? cart? You got to say it like, uh, "Hey man, let's do a hey, let's get a picture." You got to do it like that. Like, yeah. like, like it'd be fun for both of us to do this, even though he knows you're being a fan. I've done that many times. Yeah. But yeah, I'm like 50 rungs below, and I'm like, "Come on, let's just do a picture." Like it'd be fun to show my nephew. Dave, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, I guess yeah. that didn't work with Bobby De Niro, did it? <laughs> <laughs> we, when you slowly touched his arm and went. Bob, get out of here. Yeah. Where? Oh, you haven't heard that my, story yet? My first celebrity shoot-down, I had never been turned down. The first one to shoot me down was De Niro. Where at? The Billy Crystal premiere. No. Fucking 700 Sunday. He I didn't know walks De up, gently touches his arm, and goes, Oh, how creepy. Bob. Dude, they said, <laughs> Bob. They, Bob. They said no cameras. You could not bring cameras to this. I saw Harvey Keitel. And I was oh, I just no camera. But I brought it up, and then I saw De Niro, and I, I, and I, I, uh, I saw my manager's assistant. And I'm like, just come on. And she's like, I can't. I'm like, just fucking come on, take the camera. And I just touches his forearm. Oh. And he's standing with Grace High. He's standing with Grace Hightower. And, he, and I go, Bob. Oh. <laughs> How creepy is that? Like I thought that he would think. You look like Yoda when you do that. <laughs> he's so famous. I thought that he would like hear me call him Bob and think that he must know me. Right. Like I, like, I figured yeah. that was the inside yeah. track. Yeah, like, he goes over the same rest yeah. area. Yeah. I, I, no, yeah. I'm not saying it's not stupid, but I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I asked him for a I should have. I know what I should have said. I have a plan. I remember calling time. Richard what? Harris Rick one time. Yeah. <laughs> That's it? Never felt But wait, what, how did he say no to you? What did he... he was, I said, uh, I, I should have talked to him about being a comic and king of comedy, but I just panicked. I'm like, can I get a picture with you? And he goes, nah, I just want to go see, I got to go, he's doing a celebrity oh. picture. He's like, he's like, I just want to go see Billy. He's like, if I take one, a lot of people will ask. He was polite. He wasn't a dick. He just, you know, whatever. He blew just, you off you like you were a retarded child. You got to be all nice about it. And then Billy Crystal walk snapped away. at me. He yelled at you? Yeah, because I got a picture with Yogi Berra and then Rob Reiner. And then I saw Billy, and I just went, I'm a comic. You were great tonight. I went to get a picture. He goes, no cameras. And he walked away. Oh, what a jackass. Oh, who's, who is this? Billy, Billy Crystal. Crystal. What a talented pile of, you know, Thank he's Thank God someone's saying that. He's, I can't I'm stand Billy Crystal. He makes me sick of everything he does. I like his films. Oh, yeah. Up. Oh, Shut yeah. up. We watching know you have the same Oscars, it's like watching Nathan Lane. Enough with the dancing and singing and posing your head on fucking cartoons already. All right, he was partners with Dave Hawthorne, who struggles now, and he doesn't won't, won't fucking help him. He stinks. Like he, he should be should? he should be a third guy on the Don and Mike show. That's how bad he is. Those guys are hilarious, though, man. Oh, thing fuck. They do Hold on, Frida's the calling news. from the bank. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not lying. Hold on, it's, hold on, it's Frida again. I'm driving down a hill. Oh. Out to lunch is the show. You t the what happened? I, I don't know what's show, going on. Out yeah, to lunch where you're smashing that awful Frida because that bitch stinks and she's not funny. Stop wrecking your fucking mediocre radio show by letting her call in. So yeah. out to lunch is uh, that the guys in Baltimore, I think? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But they're syndicated the JFK and DC. And they're big yeah. fans of our show. I yeah, they right? love you guys. They That's hand cool. out stickers for your your, your radio <laughs> show. That's so they're, weird. They're, that's like the lowest self-esteem radio like, guys. <laughs> Let's <laughs> hand out stickers for them. Why don't you promote your own show? I know. because I mean, The guy has like this enormous Head, so I'm surprised he even goes out in public, but they're <laughs> fucking big fans, and you know we're on there, so I'm fucking trash and Donna Mike. Cause they, stay, you know why they're not fucking funny? Cause they won't have comics in, cause comics will outshine them. And and if they were funny and secure like you guys are, right? And you're lazy, right. you're lazy too. This way you get <laughs> comics, you know, you're just la too lazy, lazy, fucking zero. All right, we were just watching zero. the clock, waiting for you to come in, knowing that we'd get a good hour, and then yeah. I could just sit here, you know. Yeah. And so they won't have comics in. So now they're, you had to hear them and go, oh, well, you want a war against, you know, they're blaming these kids. These kids didn't do it. I did it. All right, I'll take a war with you fucking idiots. All right, Ooh. what are you going to do? You're going to keep me off the of TV? Uh, so so they go after these kids, right, and they go, oh, you want a war? And we're listening to them on not one funny line they're in not 40 funny. minutes. No, how about this? Here's a war. You're a fat fuck. Your <laughs> wife is an unfunny cunt, and your breath stinks. <laughs> I said that. Jim Norton and Rich Voss agreed. Yeah, I agree. Here's a war. Why don't you have a war on weight, you 
fucking buffet molester, all right? Stop eating. You've been kicked out of every major market. You fucking can't make it. You sucked in New York. You sucked in Philly. You got booted out of Buffalo. How's that? This is The guys from Out to Lunch are not saying this, although I'm sure they agree with it. Oh, I thought okay. you were talking about opening Anthony. No, no. <laughs> I thought you were really yelling at you today. Now we're going to have a problem. <laughs> you want a war? That's what they Pick said. a small radio show like Yeah, that. two guys that are making like fucking under 20 grand a year. You want a war? What are you going to do? You fucking jerk-offs. All right. We Unless should I... lighten it up. Let's talk about Hotel Rwanda for a few minutes. Yeah. I want to back up, actually, because... the machete uh, scenes. Yeah. I want to back up, because Dave <laughs> stayed at Voss's. And you you got to walk uh, the listeners through Voss's place. It's it's just... You've never been there, right, Ant? No. It's like... I go there. It's, well, a, <laughs> it's a bunch of antiques. Yeah. Go to First off, you have to go through the garage to get to his... Uh, there's no, like, front door or nothing. <laughs> you go through the garage, <laughs> and, and it honestly <laughs> looks like... There is. There's the some. cement is cracked, and uh, the water runs down the cement. And, He's and very proud of this place, You think, place, how good can this get once you get inside? And you're you're, you're horribly disappointed. Cause <laughs> really? It's, yeah, it's it's... And then there's the wall of shame, which, come he on, had, you even you got to admit. Wait, he had the worst memorabilia. It's no, I, I got some good stuff. He's got Dude, stuff from shows he wasn't even on. It sounds no. like it would be good stuff. Like, here's Why don't you do a fucking cribs at my house, and we'll see. Dude, explain oh, the, would wood, that be explain amazing the Woodstock do. photo. I mean, everyone knows Voss was one of the comics was, at Woodstock. It was I taken it. from a helicopter. He's got a picture really? of himself. He, he pretty much, like Dave said, he yeah, has to circle where, you know, which person is him on stage. And it's framed. It's done oh, with an instamatic camera or something, one of the throwaways. I'm sorry, Woodstock wasn't as big race. as your Asbury Park well, show, <laughs> but let me tell you something. We're 12 fucking drunks and, At least I got a and nice eight. Oh, uh, shut the up. Stage. All right, your, your fucking main guest was Jeff Norris, you fucking zero. Okay? No, but this was the original <laughs> one. <laughs> Dickie Best. Dickie Best. And was, yeah, and he couldn't get him on stage because he was beating his wife. Well, that was the, that was like the beauty Dickie of that show. <laughs> we got Dickie Best the night, uh, the day after he beat up his wife in a hotel room. You beat that. Got, that's a good fucking <laughs> way to go, buddy. You are on. That Dude. was that's a good poster of me at Woodstock. It's awful, and no there's, one's brave enough to tell there's you. And then there's pictures of like celebrities, and all I can see is like part of an arm around him. <laughs> and that's and then he points to that with the red marker. That's his arm. <laughs> they're really you got to admit they're pretty bad. You know what? Do a cribs at my house. Do it like you used to do, and uh -huh. you'll see some cool furniture. My house is. It's yeah, nice. Look, it's your thing. You like the antiques. Do you guys yeah, even do cribs cribs on the show? Yeah, we've we done that. Yeah. Okay. Why we do video and then put it up on the website? Well, if you want, you we'll should do, do it. Over we'll there. do cribs with you. Yeah, you can do cribs yeah. at my place. I don't care. I'm getting new windows in right now. Hey, you got to see his balcony. Of course, you can only do it one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that you can't just add to that. Or I mean, it's it's it's. it's uh, it's it's terrible. It's a townhouse. You can't start adding additions oh. on a town. You live in a fucking trailer with 40 acres. I know that, but okay. you could do it slowly is what I said. They're not going to notice oh, slowly notice expanding like the deck. Square foot on it yeah, well. exactly. <laughs> Just move it on out, cut the hedge out of there. Because you got to admit, it's really small. Yeah, it is. But I have two of them. I have one it's on like my bedroom. It's like a windowsill. That's how small it is, really. That's his it's pretty small. You know, it's a nice place. I'm, I'm it's happy. It's a nice place. I'm two miles from my kids. I'm in the country. I'm out by farms. You know, don't, there's not a lot of, you know, gold teeth out there. It's nice. <laughs> Because everyone's goal is to just eke a living out so you can move away from the gold teeth. That's, that's what people say. They go, do you live in a good neighborhood? And what they're saying is, how many blacks live by you? It's a code word. Jesus. What? It's just truth. It's just the political correctness. Bright you live eyes, in a good neighborhood. Bright Eyes is going to write a song about you if you, if yeah. you keep this yeah, up. Yeah, Who is? Bright Eyes. You oh. missed it. It's oh. an earlier bit, so. Someone out there is laughing, trust me. Oh, there's, a no, there's a lull right now. Let's get back to Don when and Mike. The boss talks to God, does God have to wipe his face <laughs> off every two seconds? <laughs> I know, when I'm on stage now, people are coming with, like, drop coughs like I'm a Gallagher. <laughs> See, I can, I can go after myself. That's the kind of guy I am. I don't mind. Uh, You're not allowed to read the message boards after your appearance. Uh, okay? I, I'm just going nuts, and I wish he was dead. Oh, I can't feed into these people. Are they that bad to you? Are they no, that there's, only, there's a couple. There's fans. It's like anything. There's some 16-year-old kids sitting around, you know. Right. But there's fans, you know, and there's not. It's it's message boards. You know. I listen. don't go to the message boards. I can't. I couldn't take that. Yeah, no. I, I just, and I don't even spit on people. By the way, we should mention yeah. you guys are going to be at Caroline's all weekend long. Yeah, Bonnie, yeah. Uh, Dave, and myself. Yep. And Russ and Eve. All and Russ and Eve. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, Bo Russ Bonnie, Russ Dave, Russ and myself. Were, uh, That's a really, really good show, man. It's going to be a lot so of you fun. you get to see Russ, and Russ is funny. Tonight, uh, tomorrow, and what? Tonight, tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah. Oh, tonight's Thursday. Okay. Wow. Tonight's Thursday, and... Uh, 
Dave, what have you been doing after the show? I've just been touring. That's all I've yeah? been doing. And I've been home for a month, so it's been nice. I haven't done anything. Just sat at home. And your trailer nothing. with 40, yeah. Where is 40 that? acres? Like, what, what? Uh, like central Minnesota. Really? Yep. That's where you live? Yep. Minnesota. Just weapons and sitting on 40 acres wow. waiting for the... That's some cold shit in the it winter, It is. Though. It's bad. Eesh. It's bad. I, I have, I have like, seasonal that. disorder, so... I haven't gotten out of bed for three weeks because the weather's been so horrible. Like that depression? Yeah, I just lay there, you know. I just, I can't do it. I can't. Uh, I went to his house. He has rifle. We went shooting, and, and uh, he's got, like, a fucking arsenal. He's like a militia guy, I swear to God. Yeah. And we're shooting. Only he's I don't had... have a cause or nothing, so you, I can you, shoot at anybody. Were you able to pull the trigger with those fingers? <laughs> <laughs> or did you have to grab with both hands? And I had to take the trigger guard off and see, get those oh. stubby things in there. <laughs> oh, that's and then he let me go up in the uh, that lookout tower. Yeah, the lookout tower. Where the uh, Asians uh, shot the black guys. Oh, the deer stand? The deer, yeah, deer stand. Are you close to that deer stand where that accident happened? Or is that I'm just... about uh, 100 miles from there. Oh, okay. That's close up in there. Accident? Yep. Yeah, that was no accident. He just no. shot him. Yep. That was yeah. crazy. Those yeah. Asians yeah. went nuts. Yep. Kicked them out of crazy. the Crazy. Yeah, from all the times oh, right. in their that's stores right. where they get mouth off. They got even. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> We're all thinking, how racist can we get with this one? <laughs> I know, right? Whew. Ben here yet? Uh, no, no Ben. All right, we got uh, Big Kev's Star Wars audio. Ooh. I don't know if we're going to get to our stuff. We'll try to what get to our What is that? What is a... Huh? Nothing. Uh, uh, Big Kev. Big Kev hosted a Star Wars event last night. Uh, at 12.01 a.m. They played the movie for over 3,000 fans, is it? 3,300. Yeah, 3,300. 16 theaters. And, this and is the new one? Yeah. 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 Ugh, and, uh, yeah, so there, it was just loaded with uh, geeks with lightsabers and uh, stormtrooper uniforms. And uh, we got some audio from, I guess, some of the revelers. Yeah, Kevin went around and interviewed people here. Here we have a couple of young Jedis. And, and what's your, your guy? <laughs> oh, God. A uh. couple of young Jedis? <laughs> Here's a couple of young Jedis. Ugh. <laughs> that they come dressed as the characters is just the worst. That's true. And that he sounds like Ed Sullivan is even more yeah. irritating. Come here, son. Young Jedi. Here we have a couple of young Jedis. And, and what's your, your guy's name here? Walter Reyes. Chris. Reyes. Oh, you're another Reyes? You're brothers? Uh-huh. Uh-huh, I see. And you? Spencer Ross. Spencer, uh-huh. And you guys are wearing some sort of prefabricated Jedi robes and carrying sabers. Very nice. And uh, let me ask you a question. How old are you guys? Nineteen. Fourteen. Nineteen. Uh-huh. uh-huh. <laughs> and have you been told that um, you will not get any girls wearing these costumes? Yes, plenty of times. That's not true. I just made out with a girl uh, two minutes ago. Her name is Princess Leia. Made out. Yeah, I saw her, and I think it was Prince Leo that you made out with. Oh, maybe to you because she knocked you out. Yeah. Thanks for that. Uh oh. <laughs> Can you put some Don and Mike on? <laughs> wow. When he said he was 14, did you try to get him in the car? <laughs> did you play your ice cream truck music that you have in your car? All right, well, that's I the first he clip. He's just warming some up. Jedi mind tricks on you. You will be uninteresting. <laughs> <laughs> These questions will stink. <laughs> <laughs> He's out there in the field. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Here's Big Kev talking to a nine, a nine-year-old Anthony. Oh, this, nine should be good. oh this is cute. This should be good. Oh, kids well, say the darndest thing. Well, all you can hear is. <laughs> What's your name, mister? Corey Perone. How old are you, Corey Perone? Nine. And how long have you been waiting in line? 1,900 million years. 1,900 million years. Corey, let me ask you this question. How old are you? Nine. Nine years old. You're seeing a movie that starts at midnight. Yes. Do you have school tomorrow? Yes. Do you know what Dyfus is? Yes. Uh, yes, you will. It's in your future, my friend. You have fun, all right, buddy? Huh? I know Dyfus. I am Yoda. Very good. 
I like to write the questions down and then proofread them. <laughs> I like to find out if they'd be interesting or what the responses I might get from them. Right, run through them yeah. and kind of think what might come yeah, back. Yeah, what might you. come back. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't. I don't like to be critical. Track three is already. I look forward to the magic continuing. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, where'd you guys get that coffee? That's not Rock the type of coffee we drink uh, around here. Boy, that's not good, is it? Rock hey, and roll. Hey, kid, this wasn't twenty bucks. <laughs> Oh wow. oh, wow. He wants his change, Ricky. Wow. Give Mr. Washington. Keep five for yourself. Really? Yeah, buy, yeah, buy, yeah. buy yourself something. Something nice. Yeah. Five bucks for the radio show. He's got menus and wow stickers, but he doesn't have your change. No, where, oh, Rick, where's his change? change. Oh, boy, he's got yeah. it. Rick's not a thief. There, yeah, Rick's. There you go. Quit shaking. God. Let you me see your s- nails today. I swear to God, I feel like I'm getting. Let me see your thumbnail. Hold on. I'd Don't have... drop that dollar, please pick it up. His what are you, in the Muhammad Ali story? He's a nervous kid. He's a kid. He's a wreck. Go buy yourself something. Oh. Did you just tip him? Yeah. An intern? You don't tip the intern. He's insulting. Ten bucks. No, he's going to get it back from him as soon as this thing is off. It's not like you sold your Mercedes. I know what you're like. (laughs) What, did you get a little sandwich? Yeah. You're the fattest thing I've ever met. You're a nibbler. All right. Uh, I would love to tell that story about your money, but I won't, because I promise you I wouldn't tell that story. You ever hear the the Meals on Wheels story? No. Oh, what a (laughs) jerk. What's the money story? Yeah, you uh, can't. I, can't t- I, can't, I promise I wouldn't tell. Rich, Unless on the meal. I can't tell. Rich, you let, let, tell, you the meals let him tell. Let him tell the money story. I, I'll tell the meal, yeah. Meals on Wheels story. I can't tell the other story. I, prom- I made a promise, and I'm a, I'm a stand-up guy. Can we uh, hear about it some other sure. day? Oh, yeah, So course. these yeah, listeners yeah, yeah, will yeah, leave yeah, us yeah. alone because they'll yeah, harass yeah. us for the next year until the story comes out. That's one of my favorite stories. I just can't tell it. Is it bad? Didn't we tell it on the air? What? Is that the story about his mom? On oh. the Meals on Wheels? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. probably heard that one. I yeah, that was we, hilarious. We have told Maybe you have one. told that one. Not all the money he makes. Hold on, I don't. I, you got to retell it. Well, basically, I, his mom wasn't doing so well, so his sister yeah. called and thought, you know, we should get him some help. And Meals on Wheels is like eighty bucks. And this idiot stops and actually goes, "Could I get that?" Yeah. <laughs> Eighty a week for all that food. Eighty a week. He wants to get Who meals thinks on Thinks about wheels. that. I mean, his mother is is ailing, <laughs> and he's worried about. You're not home anyway. Wow. I'm just saying it's a good deal. <laughs> so it's goodwill. <laughs> yeah, you ought to you to go to one of those boxes and just like pull clothes you out. Just take stuff out of there. They got they got Ben Sherman. Yeah, they got nice suits. <laughs> I put a lot of stuff in those goodwills. I know you do. <laughs> yeah, see homeless guys walking around with Voss sucks t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they're looking at it going, this font is horrible. <laughs> yeah, I don't appreciate uh, the font. I may be drunk. Actually, you know, to be fair, a lot of people want the the Voss shirt, so. Do they? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rich Voss. Yeah, like you can't make Rich your Voss. own. Com. That's the sad part. <laughs> yeah, with an old shirt <laughs> and a printer. Thing. Yeah, exactly. You're, you're supposed to come up with a design yeah. that they can't. S- <laughs> something you can copyright, not just letters. <laughs> right. All they need is some iron-ons and they're all ready to go. That's all right. It's <laughs> a whole other meeting when I send it out. I'm sure it is. Let's go back to Big Kev's Star Wars interviews. Oh, Anthony. like Big Kev's just put his head down like, oh. Wait, wait, this, I don't think it's going to get better, do you? No. Who good? should bet on that? Is it going to get better? Well, yeah. he, he's talks, uh, he talks to four chicks here, so this okay. should be Ooh, some right? hot conversation. Girls. Amongst this sausage factory, there are four lovely young ladies. And what's your name? Alicia. Swamini. Colleen. Alice. And Alice, which is not her real name at all. And... How long have you girls been waiting online? Actually, only about a half an hour. Yeah, half an hour. <laughs> and uh, you're all really excited about the big Star Wars movie, are you? Yeah, very excited. And why are you excited? Um, well, because I really, I love the, all the movies, and I really wanted to see it. It's are you, Are you aware that you're like one of the hottest girls on the line? Thank you. <laughs> wow, you're trying. I just there, want Kevin. you to know. And how does it feel to be, you know? pretty much out amongst the geeks, as it were. Uh, oh, it's great. I love it. <laughs> the geeks. Um, I'm You're not the geeks. I, no, really. You're not the geeks. You have to trust He's me on trying. this. You're not the geeks. He's trying to pick up this guy. Go- the only thing that would make this interesting is a Bill Curtis narration of how they were found in a shallow grave in a house. <laughs> and it shocked the yeah. city. <laughs> they were they just were going to the movie. They were nine-year-old. <laughs> I can't remember the kid's name, otherwise it would have been funny. <laughs> oh, that's it. 
They continued to watch the movie and then went <laughs> with Big Kev over to his house. They were found wrapped in a Voss Sucks t-shirt. <laughs> and then he carbon froze them. Foul play? <laughs> Not in New York. <laughs> I wish I could do a Bill Curtis. He's such a great. It's Bill pretty Curtis good. Great. I, I was Bill watching Curtis. the show last night. And as I'm listening, I turn to my girlfriend and go, you know, when you hear his voice, you know it's not going to be no, a good yeah. story. No, this no, is just not no. going to be about, and they lived happily ever after. <laughs> it's just going to be pedophiles and oh. death and murder. And Can you imagine being one of his kids? <laughs> Son, you're going to need to come in here. <laughs> oh, no. Mom's no. dead. <laughs> I walked in and found Mom's bloody corpse sprawled on the floor. Her headless torso was... Mom, Dad! She appeared to have been sexually assaulted, but I wasn't sure. I'm yeah, leaving I, there, you're right. There's example. nothing good coming after Bill Curtis's nothing. voice. Nothing. You hear that voice, you just know you're going to yeah. see some kind of horror on the screen. Love those shows, though. Let's That's see if the so interview hard. gets better here. Right? Can I say that? Uh, so, side, so I guess. Yeah. I just want to say this one is actually captivating. Really? Yeah, Are you? Ca you're captivated. It's good. I'll see if I'll make it. How many guys have hit on you, ladies, so far this evening? Counting you? None. <laughs> Five. 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 You lost count. <laughs> How many of them had lightsabers? And I mean the plastic toy kind. Oh, at 15, at 15, at 15. Nice. All right, you guys have fun. Oh, yeah. In what can oh, only yeah. be kismet. <laughs> Anthony with the graduation Jedi robe. And what was your name again? Alicia. They actually know each other and are <laughs> hugging and kissing on the line. This is a spoof on interviews, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's really disturbing. <laughs> like I'm a Kev's red carpet board. interviews. What can I say? I really do. Unbelievable. I'd like to thank Eric for giving me a DAT recorder with dying batteries. This is a cool uh, too bad. They weren't too bad. Yeah. <laughs> they, soon enough, they, they, yeah, exactly. they weren't dying. They weren't dying. They were killing themselves. <laughs> Let's arc out. Who's with me? <laughs> oh. oh well. Oh, you know they, that, that's the were you thing really about it. Or are you just trying to be nice? Oh, it's Blame it, on right in there. Huh? Blame it on the batteries, sure. Uh, what, what's Blame, that, Kev? Blame that interview on the batteries dying. <laughs> hey, the batteries make me sound uninteresting. <laughs> <laughs> no, what are you saying, Kev? There's, there's, there's a guy that tells me to fuck off. Yeah. Oh, oh, all right. All right, well, so he's wow. good. I heard they're uh, playing that tape on Nambla's website. That's a good line, all the young guys. Yeah, I thought it was good. <laughs> That's a good line. There's that was a good eight line. people that know what that is. I'm one of them, but I thought it was funny. Ah, wow. Let's see. go to Floyd in Georgia. Right. Floyd, what's up? What's going on, O.N.A.? Hey. Little Jimmy? Hi. Hey, uh, Rich, I just got one thing, man. I want to hear you say fucking filibusters on Thursday. Fucking up. Filibusters on Thursday? Fucking up. See, that's not, that's not where I screw up, dummy. Yeah. Hey, you don't have any asses in there. All right, here we go. Big Kev outside Star Wars talking to black folk. Oh, okay. It's another angle. I have found a couple here. And, and what's your name, sir? Tony. Koyan. Tony and Koyan. Let me ask you this, Tony and Koyan. I'm looking around. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm looking around at some 3,000 or so people, and you two really sort of stand out. Why is that? You don't want uh, we represent so. Orlando Calrissian and uh, Mace Windu. So you're saying that you're black people. Absolutely. Uh huh. Are you aware that right now, by my count, including the two of you, there are five black people here? No, I wasn't aware of that. We thought we were the only ones. Actually, we thought we were the only ones. What prompts you to come to a theater? Wow. That is predominantly <laughs> this evening. Know, this would be better this if you just okay. slowed it down a little. Exactly. You know it's really like, like to a dead stop. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. What prompts you <laughs> to come to a theater full of white folk in this, the year 1962? <laughs> There's black people at the theater. Yeah. If you'd done those interviews, would you have turned in the tape? 
No. <laughs> no. <laughs> the batteries up. died yeah, before I even got it. I didn't even make it to the theater. It never would have made it back into the car. No. It would have been stepped on. I would have said. I would have said no one showed up for the premiere. Yeah. No one. No one showed. No one showed. I don't know what happened. I don't. I think you guys had the wrong movie time. You're riding Kev too hard. I sense a big laugh coming in this. All right. Well. It's the. All right. I absolutely do. The big finish. I do. That is predominantly, this evening anyway, serving, let's say, shall we say, white people. We, we live close. We live pretty close to here, so. Well, it's Star Wars. We're all family, so it doesn't matter. That's very galactic of you, sir. <laughs> very galactic. Do you have any uh, final words for the other uh, African Americans standing in the line? Represent, and may the force be with you. Hey, where are the white women at? Have a good time. <laughs> no, you have a good time. <laughs> no, you have a good oh. time. Wow. I hear there was a problem later on, and we have a clip I, of Kev. Oh, that uppity nigger went and hit me on the head with a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Slim Pickens. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have a good time. <laughs> that could be a catchphrase, Kev. I was yeah. just thinking he's going to try to make that his catchphrase. Um, you you're going to see it on T-shirts just like bosses in a couple of years. Yeah. No. It's always good when you say, no, you have a good time. It's always good when you say, let's say, and then you follow it up immediately with, shall we say. Right? <laughs> let's say, shall we say, <laughs> say. Let's say, shall we say. Oh, I am so safe on the boards tonight. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's almost like they brought in a ringer. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Be kind to Boston. It's to oh, the, the kids online. Did Let's you, do a really uninteresting interview so that Boss doesn't get his ass handed to him. Oh, uh, uh, big Sorry. Kevin is smashing you. Know, he's huge, by the way. He's huge. Did and he you gets you a lot yeah. faster than me. Did you notice anything on this line? Yeah, you have a microphone. Oh. No, you have a good time. Hey, listen, I'm just going with the flow here. <laughs> well, right? we enjoyed it. I don't know why uh, you had to pick on it. Here's a guy that tells Kevin to fuck off. Uh oh. Right? Gotta What's your name? Edit this audio. My name's Dennis. Dennis, how are you tonight? Uh, pretty well. Dennis, I stopped to talk to you because I noticed a couple of things. One, you're reading a book. What is that book? The book is uh, a visual dictionary of Revenge of the Sith. The visual dictionary of Revenge of the Sith. Uh-huh. And what is a visual dictionary to Revenge of the Sith? I really couldn't. In your own words. I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't precisely tell you it was on sale in the lobby of Barnes & Noble, and I had a lot of time to kill. It seems to be a collection of close-up photographs of uh, visual elements in the movie, different characters and stuff. Are you aware that this book is designed for five- to seven-year-olds? Uh, I actually kind of got, got that from the um, design, but basically uh, it seemed like it would be the least immersive book to standing on a line with people. And so based on the fact that you knew it was a kid's book, you bought it anyway, I'm presuming because of the pretty pictures. Uh, what's this for? XM Satellite Radio, sir. Oh, okay. That explains the smart-ass attitude and the stupid look on your face. Why don't you go fuck off? Okay. Thank Ooh. you very much, sir. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. You, you Whoa. took that. A confrontation. You took that. Wow. Why didn't you pull out your lightsaber and yeah. have a little sword fight with him? Yeah. Not the lightsaber in your hand, either. Waka, waka. <laughs> oh, waka, waka. <laughs> wow. Hmm. That's it. Hey, will you guys let me do an interview at, like, an insurance seminar? <laughs> <laughs> I could make it wacky. <laughs> Yeah, give me some fully charged batteries. <laughs> well, I don't want the that. fully charged ones in case it goes wrong. I want to hear that. Ooh. Wow, that guy. This is pretty interesting, though. That yeah. was, yeah. yeah. That guy told you, Kev. You know, you went out there and and you were out there. You uh, was sure it, did. Was it followed up with, come along, mother? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Chuck in Ohio. Chuck? Hey, how you doing? Obi and Anthony. Hey. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Chuck. Hi. Uh, I don't know what we've done to make you guys mad at us as, as listeners, but we're sorry. We really are. We don't deserve this punishment anymore. <laughs> Wait, now, did you not like the interviews? Uh, no, I love them, actually. All right. Have a good day. All right. Let's go to Doug Out Doug. Uh, Doug Out Doug. Hey, guys. How's it going? Hey, man. Hey, Kev, I wanted to congratulate you on graduating from the Bruce Kelly School of Interviewing. <laughs> oh, it kind of did sound a little like... Uh... XM's own Bruce Kelly from the uh, 80s station. I'm actually surprised we got that whole thing without you actually referring to episode 3 being the interlocular. 
All right, dugout. Thank you. We have another clip here, Anthony. <laughs> wow, there's another one. Yeah, well, that's Kev. All right. Only a couple more. He talks right. to an ugly chick, Kev. Uh, it was a chick, chick dressed as Princess Leia. Princess chick Leia. Dressed Ooh. as Princess Leia. After this, I got some other interesting audio. I, there's um, like some outtakes from a wiretap between two dentists. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's your name? Devin. And where are you from? Carney. And Devin is wearing a lovely Princess Leia get-up. Mm -hmm. Did you make this yourself? No, I didn't. I bought it like eight years ago. Halloween costume. Came with the wig. <laughs> nice. And she has the bread roll hairdo happening, and uh, she's quite the looker here on the line, and she's getting a lot of looks from the young gentlemen who are walking up and down the line, searching out the young ladies, all six of them. I'm the only lady in a costume. I'm the only lady in a costume. I, you may be right. I haven't seen a lot of ladies at all, let alone in costume. Uh, how long have you been waiting? Um, since about, hold on, since about 5 o'clock? No, six o'clock. That's not bad. Six hours for a movie waiting online. That's good. No, not bad at all. <laughs> have, uh, have a lot of the geeks been coming up to you trying to get the phone number, the digits, or, you know, whatever the Star Wars equivalent is? Not really. I think they're pretty intimidated, actually. <laughs> I've been taking my, my picture's been taken, though, by a lot of people. Of course it has. <laughs> Actually, some hecklers up in the front told me to get out of here because I wasn't in this one. And I said, if you know anything, you know I am. So, as Leia, of course, you know. <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> Jeez. Four dead D batteries were found in her anus later that evening. <laughs> we're not even looking into this case. <laughs> This is who cares, cold cases. <laughs> who cares? <laughs> who cares? <laughs> the police just threw their arms up and went, eh, exactly. went home. <laughs> Did the fun ever start over there? <laughs> the files sat in their office for over 20 years, <laughs> where they will probably sit for 20 more. There were actually other cases written on the back of these cases because <laughs> they needed the paperwork. Don't whisper. Oh, Why are you whispering? whispering? Why are you can't whispering? Do the you, you of can't, what? You can't do the impression. What impression? Well, you Whatever they're given. doing right now, I can't do the Why impression. couldn't you have given them the signal? Anyone does uh, a bad Bill Curtis. Yeah, do Bill Curtis. Yeah, do Bill Curtis. Yeah, do Bill Curtis. Yeah, Bill Curtis. Yeah, just give it a shot. Go for just it. Go, it, go, it again. We're not going to make it. funny. Oh, yeah, because mine was so dead on. Well, it's I, just putting on some kind of an air. Yeah, it is. I'm Bill Curtis. Come on. Just say I'm Bill Curtis. No. <laughs> look at him. Come look on. at him. What is Bonnie saying to you? Don't do it. Oh, you'll do your act on here, but not this? I didn't do any of my act. I, wonder, uh, it's, I didn't do any of my... Wait, come on, there you go. I didn't do any of my act. Just say, I'm Bill Curtis. I'm Bill Curtis. And That's not bad. Here we are. So right. Right. Not bad. People was... died at the interview. We should have left it at just Bill Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> you really should have. You're doing so well. I I'm Bill so Curtis. Well. That's good, actually. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Really? Yep. Oh, wait, should I turn around first and fix my hair and then do the impression? Oh, this will be his opener for Caroline's all week. <laughs> giving him a little bit of encouragement. Do some impressions, should, you know what? I should do other impressions. No. Hmm. That was good. I'm Bill Curtis, good. and uh, I got too much. I, was, I, yeah, I went over the top of this. <laughs> Bill Curtis, come on. Bill Curtis. I heard a little, suck. I heard a little Cadaver, Carson you in there. come <laughs> back to me. <laughs> 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 Guys, we have one more clip. Ooh. The last clip. We break right. it up into two so it sounds like two more clips. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Big Kev talking to gay guys online, right? Ooh. How's this one? I don't know which one this is. <laughs> of course <laughs> not. <laughs> she just brings it all together. <laughs> this is just his own personal recording. That's why. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Anthony. Anthony, where are you from? I'm from Rutherford. Rutherford, it, Anthony, I can tell by your attire that you obviously have just graduated some higher education today. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, it's, it's, is that a Jedi robe? That is correct. Uh-huh, and uh, how old are you? I'm uh, 16. Uh-huh, and did anyone tell you that you will not get laid wearing this robe? No, not, not, not in the last couple of minutes, no. Not in the last couple of minutes? You're not going to get laid wearing this robe. Well, that's too bad, I guess. <laughs> and is this your boyfriend? What's his name? No, no, this is my friend, Jeffrey. Jeffrey? Jeffrey. And where are you from, uh, Rutherford as well? Yes. And why, why are you guys waiting in line? Because we're diehard Star Wars fans. Nice. I understand that part of it. The waiting together and the, the gown, I don't understand. But the rest of it I'm with you on. What's that? That's excellent. And where's your... 
Yeah, it was his idea, the whole gown thing and waiting together. It was his idea, you know. It was kind of far-fetched, but, you know. Don't let them yeah, that really sucked, dude. <laughs> All right, cool. We'll have fun waiting in line. Okay, terrific. How do you know when when there's the out cue? Like, how do you know where to end these? <laughs> I just see, like there's no there's the you imagine you imagine the barrel of a gun next to your head, I think, <laughs> and then you go, that's it. So I'm like, as you're, as you're editing this, whoever edited this, as you're editing, do you do you do you wait for a certain spot to cut it and say you're done? It's it a pause. Like, when you like, I guess whenever they wake up, they just hit the button. <laughs> How do you turn a Star Wars premiere into, like, a, a porno interview? How old are you, 14? Are you going to get laid in that outfit? Uh, oh, wow. I usually wear yeah. pants. <laughs> Just didn't quite work out yeah. out in the field there. Yeah, he was trying, though. Yeah. No, I think he tried really hard, and I'm looking forward to his next work. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I've had more laughs watching Meet the Press. <laughs> <laughs> that Bill Curtis. Not Bill Curtis. Oh, I screwed up. What's yeah. his name? Uh, Tim, Tim Russert. R- yeah, Tim. I am right. Tim Russell. He's a good-looking guy. I'm Tim Russell. That, really, that sounds just like him. Well, I'm doing it. Tim that's Russell. pretty good. Yeah, yeah, do, yeah. Tim that's really good. Do, do Tim Russell. I'm Tim Russell. We're here outside of Star Wars, and a man is being handcuffed and thrown into a police car right now. Well, who's Tim Russell? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Just oh. Different guy. Hey, Bonnie, you have anything to say over there? No. Are you, are you enjoying your fiance? Bonnie has two black eyes, hence the glasses. Yeah, what's with the glasses? Yeah, what's are you beating her up already? She's uh, she's reading for a role, Greta Garbo. You know, it, it doesn't matter because <laughs> the, no, it doesn't matter because you guys are fucking set me up because there are good lines. No, you did a Greta oh, Garbo reference. Oh my, listen who, to we're me. not seventy-five. Wait. Who gets oh, that? That's the other one. You would, should never have said that. <laughs> we're talking. This is a year ago. We're, we're in a rental car. We're talking about hot chicks. Uh, uh, who's um. <laughs> No, I, I know who Tell it me. is. I'm talking about some some honest modern day ones like uh, I know uh, Angelina Jolie. Yeah, exactly. Would say That's Jessica what, he Simpson. brings up. He brings up Gina Lola Brigida. <laughs> Gina Lola from Brigida. like 1943. <laughs> <laughs> she was hot back in her day. Of course she was, but we weren't anywhere Gina near Lola that era. Brigida. <laughs> and he made the noise like <laughs> like that. <laughs> hubba hubba. It was crazy. It was you really seriously. You have some problems. I like old stuff. I just bought three pairs of PF flyers online. Three pairs of tennis shoes. And I'd rather fuck them than Gina Lola Bridget. <laughs> <laughs> what was she in? Huh? What was she in? She was online at the Star Wars interview. She was in a million Uh-oh. things. Uh-oh. She was that in a couple of movies. Honestly, back in 1940. Yeah. You, you never heard of her? She's very famous, but no one has thought of her in 30 years. Heard of her, yeah. No. Jesus. She's been dead for 30 years. Like, I think they made a reference on, on the Flintstones about how... Hot yes, yeah. Exa- they called her Gina Rolla Rockata or something <laughs> like that. Exactly. Yeah. 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 With the whole and, yeah. Flintstone and now thing. now somebody over here can jack off to Hanna Barbera. You know, <laughs> Someone mentions lipstick lesbians. He goes, Eleanor Roosevelt. <laughs> <laughs> she was a handsome woman. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. All right, well, the guys are the guys are hanging with us today. Rich Voss and Are you going to play your first thing or no? Yeah, we'll play a little of that when we get back. How's yeah, that sound? It's so embarrassing. These guys are going to be at Caroline's all weekend long with Bonnie yeah. and uh, Russ. Uh, Russ Maneev. Russ Maneev. He's very funny, too. It's, it's going to be a great show. Thursday, yeah, Friday, Saturday, Sunday at Caroline's. 212-757-4100 for tickets. The very worst of the Opie and Anthony. All right, we got Rich Boss in studio. Dave Mordal. Bonnie. And some hot chick. Huh? That's my friend. Uh... Oh, this yeah. is Satellite. It's in Minneapolis, huh? Yeah. It's yeah. a friend I met here in New York. Oh, cool. <laughs> Not your best gal? Uh, it's friend. my personal assistant. Cool. Oh, there you go. Yep. Very nice. Yeah. All right. <laughs> she's, she's younger than I am. Yeah. <laughs> she's younger than my daughter. I know. She's 23 and a half. Really? Yeah. It's a good age. A lot yep. of women like him, mature guys. I don't know about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mature gentlemen, older yep. gentlemen. Yep. Stately. Yeah, exactly. Just Experience. keep her away from her dad. If she works things out with her father, you'll never see her again. That's <laughs> that was Rich Foster yeah. just said that. Well, uh, somebody here. Uncle, oh, finally, a good one. Uncle Bassey on uh, Instant Feedback. <laughs> So Voss is so archaic in his references. Uh, at one of his Chicago shows, he actually made a Dobie Gillis reference. Oh, I did. And wondered why only three people got it. <laughs> what was that? Dobie Gillis wow. reference. What was that? Drift away. 
No. Wow. No, that's not Dobie Gillis drifting away. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> Dobie Gray. Dobie Gray. Dobie Gillis. Dobie Gillis. Who's Dobie Gillis? Dobie Ferguson from the, the, the show that... that uh, that uh, Gilligan was on before yeah, Gilligan's Maynard, Island. Yeah, Maynard G. Krebs. Yeah, Maynard. Maynard G. Krebs. The statue sat out front like this. Yeah, it was a stupid open. show. You want to up, update your act. Next time you go to Chicago, mention the old Mrs. O'Leary's cow thing. Probably <laughs> 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 got a big laugh. I guess yeah, anybody any, remember that? That was a big fire oh. and everything. I guess <laughs> that St. Valentine's Day thing. I guess if I would have said Dobie People Gillis killed. slipped in the disease, then it would have been hip. Exactly. I said Dobie Gillis. I like old references. If they get them, then they're fucking, you know, I like them. But you got to realize, everybody in the audience is like 25. It right. doesn't matter. Even if they're 40, they're still searching for really? it. Nobody's talking about Dolby. You got your Lenny Bruce? It was on for a season. I got my Lenny Bruce. Why? You want to... You don't. You can't play it in here. What are you going to play it on? That's from why we're happy Bruce Bruce era. I got Lenny. I got my Lenny Bruce when I was on American Dreams playing Lenny Bruce. My Oscar nominating uh, and my Emmy nominating performance. How about that Dumont Network, people? <laughs> <laughs> I got an old got, kinescope. I, I wanted to watch. I also got when now I was. Now this one's a little scratchy. <laughs> <laughs> you what? can hear Thomas Edison in the background. <laughs> His walk-on music is "Hello, my baby." Hello, my darling. <laughs> Hello, my ragtime gal. <laughs> A little lamb. It's fleece of white and smoke, and she's dodging me. You want to buy a cotton gin door? You're dead. Hey, up in the balcony. Why aren't you laughing, Lincoln? <laughs> Oh, what a loser you are today. Do they know about the Leaning Tower of Pisa? No. Oh, that was... What? When he tries to write new stuff, he never researches anything. Oh, no. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So he did... We were on tour. He did this joke. Remember when France uh, didn't want to enter into the war? Oh, no. Yeah. No. Yes. No, 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 no. So he, I, honestly, he goes, I don't, I don't want France in the war because, you know, everything they build... Uh, how did that go? I don't know. It was, oh, oh, no. Anything they build. Oh, oh, no, it was reconstructing Iraq. That's what it was. That France couldn't be involved because they weren't in the war. He goes, I don't want to build anything. They're, they're tower leans. <laughs> oh, so my we, God. We, yeah. we, let him, we let him do the bit for three shows before we told him. <laughs> And I go, no, it's in Italy. And he goes, yeah, Italy, France. <laughs> he thought Italy was a town in France, like the capital. Oh, this is oh, so classic. stupid. Classic. <laughs> Oh, my God. Here's the best. He goes, well, how come people were laughing? <laughs> I would be howling. <laughs> of course they're laughing. <laughs> Oh, wait, Bonnie, get on the mic, you man. You can be on here. Yeah, you are. Just jump find right on my mic. <laughs> your black eyes aren't going to hurt your voice. Well, when we were in Edmonton, he, <laughs> there was this, you know, maybe 20 Native Americans sitting off to the side, and he looks over and he goes, um, oh, Asian girls. I love Asian oh, girls. No. <laughs> and the audience is laughing because they all go, oh, and start laughing because they know he's wrong. Right. And, you know, it's like this weird energy in the room, and everyone's laughing, and he thinks he's killing, so he just starts doing Asian girl jokes, one after the other, and it's getting, you know, ridiculous. And I'm running, like, I didn't know what to do. I was saying... I was like, oh my god. There's nothing He's the funnier than what he's Oh, yeah. He's the ignorant know it all. He is. He is. He is the ignorant know it all. That's a great term for him. <laughs> what did I say about the band that was on? Oh, Annie. Oh, what, what time he goes? We were listening to the radio, and he goes, um, uh, who is this? Do you know who this is? And I go, yeah, it's Annie Lennox. He goes, it's the arithmetics. <laughs> You are oh. classic. You really are. I mean, I just <laughs> love it. You, you couldn't write it anything that stupid. No. You can't put it you on. No. No. Oh, oh is that great? Wow. Oh. God, that was hilarious. <laughs> Italy. Their buildings Counting lean. Yeah, their buildings lean. Yeah. Why are they laughing then? Because you're an idiot. You're an absolute <laughs> moron. Completely laughing he got, at you. He got, exactly. Who got, who got, he got GED recipients in the front row going, no, that's that's uh, not it. That's not France. Oh, oh, oh. Well, one time on stage, what did you call it? The uh, two, two Sammy. <laughs> Instead of Sammy. <tsunami. laughs> two Sammy? Yeah, like they were killed by a love letter. <laughs> two Sammy. Why that letter hurt everybody? I got 
bit by a big wave and I'm in a palm tree. Oh. <laughs> Love you. To be like, Sammy. Go ahead. No, go ahead and I defend yourself Sammy. somehow. No, here's the thing. Yeah. I, I got you got a, a bad encyclopedia? I got I got a lot of, I got a lot of, <laughs> go ahead. I got a lot of street knowledge. That's what I got, you know. Where? From growing up. I know a lot of shit about the street, you know. And how much has that helped you lately? <sighs> What you I'm still, saying. You, I, still you, about it. You, you didn't understand that lean cuisine. He, you called it lean cuisine. <laughs> cuisine. <laughs> he called know, it lean yeah, cuisine. Let me just say that he's 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 uh, got sensual intelligence. Oh, <laughs> yeah, hey, look at that. Mm, there you what go. What does that mean? <laughs> 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 You know, she thinks she's so uppity because she reads all the time and everything. You know, on the train she's reading. Ah, that reading's know. overrated. I, you know. Yeah, it's the comprehension that you should pay attention <laughs> to. <laughs> Not a big deal. It is a big deal. I'm a good dad. Dude, all that matters is that you're doing and a you show. And you got street smarts. And the crowd is applauding. Yeah. It really is. <laughs> 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 They're applauding. Did he say well, it twice, too? Well, they were applauding. They were applauding and applauding. I couldn't believe I just heard that. I'm like, this has got to be a, a mistake. Yeah. I'm like, what? He goes, they were applauding. Like, oh. Applauding. Cool. <laughs> Can you get applause? Yeah. yeah. So he's just pluralizing. You know, you know what makes this a great country? Somebody with your handicaps making it to your level. Yeah. That's what's amazing to me. The beauty is that he talks for a living. That's the he's most amazing <laughs> thing. The only thing it you really have is, is your words, it's and you really get them all wrong. It really is. And you still made it. Uh, kind of a comment on the American school system. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you taxed them. Oh, God. It's, it's so horrible. Those <laughs> <things. laughs> This is some new music as far as <laughs> Is this what the kids are listening to? <laughs> oh, good you are. But he can still find out where he can buy a lid of grass on the street, apparently. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. yeah Mr. Joe street Lynn. Smart. Yeah, John in uh, New York City. What's up, John? What's up, boys? Uh, hey. Fox, got a question for you. Where, uh, you grew up in Jersey, right? Yeah. Okay, what kind of street knowledge did you get growing up in suburban New Jersey, you fool? Listen to me, you fucking homo. I grew up in Plainfield. <laughs> Plainfield. Summer Where are you from? Where are you from? I grew up on the Bushwick Bridge border in, uh, in Queens. That's where I got street knowledge. Get my ass kicked by Puerto Ricans all day. Well, that's because you're a pussy. Wow. I, uh, I grew up in Plainfield. I grew up in an all-black neighborhood. Plus, all they grew up in a bad neighborhood, sir. Uh, no. uh, and, plus, I, I, and plus, listen to me. What? Dummy, I would cop crack on 168th Street, taking trains up to Harlem by myself. You're going to tell me about where you grew up in Queens? Please, put a yeah. cock in your mouth it to get high and talk to me. Up about 168th Street in Harlem, but yeah. that, oh, excuse me. Ah. Let's backtrack. Do what to get high? I'm just saying. I didn't do it, but you know what I'm saying. You ah. go to any, almost any length, and you know you go up to these places with guns pointed at your head, and it doesn't phase you, and you're going to tell me, oh, I grew up getting my ass kicked by Puerto Ricans? Please. I got nothing. Goodbye. All right, boss. Uh, from Oklahoma City is saying he's remembering back to a few episodes of Tough Crowd where Voss had such gems as people in Brazil speak Brazilian. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I and just, he I talked just, about the parlay floor at the old Boston <laughs> Garden. <laughs> I, forgot I, I forgot. I slipped up on that. I knew that, I knew that one was parquet, but I kind of uh, I was so excited. Parlay floor. <laughs> yeah. The Brazilian thing. I just saw that again. It was uh, me and Rich were like political debating or something. And I said I said Portuguese, and then he said Brazilian, and Colin goes, you know what really annoys me is that he just said Portuguese, and you repeated it and said Brazilian. Brazilian. <laughs> he talks Brazilian. <laughs> uh, the phones have exploded. Let's go to Rick in New Jersey. Rick, what's up? What's going on? Hey, man. Hey, uh, I saw Voss uh, in Vegas last week, and a lady fell asleep during the show. She did. Came up to him after the show, and he says, uh, she says, uh, I'm sorry about that. Voss says, oh, that's okay. It's happened before. That's it. Wow, you, that's, you know that, that show was, was a killer. Phone call. Hey, Ross, how that? about the, when uh, Jay Moore was in the studio and they yeah. had you on the phone and they were trying to get you to rip Jay Moore? Yeah, so what are you saying? How about it? I'm not going to rip Jay. He's a, he's a good guy. He's a friend of mine. Don't you have something on Jay? What are you, fucking the FBI? What are you, Hoover? <laughs> he wears pants. He's always wearing uh, yeah, pants. Yeah, these guys came up. <laughs> I didn't even go that. What are you, the FBI? Yeah. What are you, Hoover? <laughs> yeah. What are you, a, after Dillinger here. <laughs> what are you, a G-man? <laughs> Don't you, lousy screw. <laughs> are you, I'm not talking C. <laughs> Hand me that chopper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I didn't even catch that. <laughs> he's talking to Voss like he's one of the coppers. <laughs> wow. Big things up. <laughs> Let's go to Chuck in Texas. Chuck. Morning, guys. Morning. Uh, you guys are just a riot. Hey, I got a comment for Rich Voss. Oh, here we go. Rich, you are the modern day Norm Crosby. Oh, thank you. Is that a compliment? No. Oh, you bet it is. He made a living out of mispronouncing words. Yeah, but he had to write them down and then mispronounce them. Rich does it on his own. Yeah. He's deaf, too, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. Isn't he? Deaf. Isn't he still yeah. alive? Well, we saw him recently at the, uh, uh, at the Trump, 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 Trump Rose. Oh, it was awful. He didn't go on. Did he go on? Oh, yeah, yeah. he went on. It was so bad. He used everything with joke jokes. Like, you would have a joke about two Jews walking into a bar, and he'd go, you know, Donald's really good for the city. He owns a lot of bars. And speaking of bars, and he would segue into oh, some yeah. awful old joke. Everything. Oh, speaking of Donald, I am taping The Apprentice uh, tomorrow. You are? Where? Yeah. I don't know, somewhere in What do you, you have know, to do for The Apprentice? There, you know, I guess for the fourth season, some kind of, you know, whatever. You're you know, not supposed contest. to be giving stuff away about the episode. Oh, you're right. Good point, yeah. Dave. Thank you. Good I, didn't point. I just saved you a contract. You're right. Wow. Oh, you're involved in some way with The yeah, Apprentice. Yeah, that's what I heard. Oof. That was close. Yeah. That's hey, why don't you right. announce the winner of season four that hasn't even started yet? <laughs> I don't know. All right. Just a call. <laughs> It's just another primetime network thing I'm doing. You know, <laughs> well, the American Dreams, a couple hey, seasons of Last Comic. Hey, the wall at home can look forward to another mimeograph. <laughs> <laughs> this is right off the copier. <laughs> Dittos. <laughs> Dittos, exactly. The blue, the blue, blue one. Ditto yeah. ink. The blue Ditto ink still smells good. <laughs> I'm the butt of a lot of jokes today. Yeah, I know, and it wasn't supposed to be about you today. Yeah, but I really like you, and that's the reason I do it. All right, we're well, all breathing now. I think well, if, if only we had another interview to listen to. Yeah. Well, yeah. No. well we do have a couple of... Uh, well, we have a bunch of things we could go to. We could either do uh, Psycho Ex-Girlfriend phone calls. Mm. We could I do, thought uh, we were going to listen to your first show. You guys are really yeah. putting that off. I know, I know, we have. You guys it is really so are. embarrassing. You know what it is? Opie is doing... The rock jock thing, because that's what he, he was doing. He was a right. rock jock. Right. Uh, it was the first show we ever did together. I was just a construction worker out on Long Island who did a few impressions and song parodies. Is, so I come on to the show, and I'm just, I listened back to this recently. I'm too happy to be there. Right. I'm like all, I, I really had to pound down a few beers and stuff, so I'm pretty hammered. And to listen to it, I'm just, I, I'm over laughing and just like, this is so just <laughs> too happy to be there, and it's so embarrassing. Can we hear Va some of it a couple minutes? Yeah, yeah. I want to hear some. I've never heard this. This is it. so cringy. Is Voss on there doing his sprint joke? <laughs> <laughs> No, this goes back like 11 years. Voss was sucking cock I mean. for uh, crack no. <laughs> on 168th Street. I just use that as a term. You know what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, whatever. 19 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Voss is like Yogi Bear. Should we go to this? Look at me stolen some more. Steve in oh, no. Jersey. Steve. You? What's Hi. up? Go ahead. Yeah, dude, uh, Voss, man. You know, you kind of sound just like uh, fucking Yogi Bear with his stupid things. What's he saying? What do you say? What do you What do you mean by that, sir? I didn't hear it. You know, like Yogi Bear, fucking, uh, you know, when there's a fork in a row, take it. Yogi like Berra was well known for that kind of stuff. For yeah. what? Yeah. I like how Opie just wrecks everyone's spot, though, on the call. Because the whole joke is for him to call up and go, Hey, Voss, you like Yogi Berra. Opie goes, Let's go to Steve in Jersey who says Voss is like Yogi Berra. Hi, <laughs> right, Steve. Yeah, Voss, you like Yogi Berra. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Opie just ruins the guy's, like, <laughs> kill him. him. He thinks you're <laughs> talking about the tar cartoon character. <laughs> No, it's, the, it's the guy, the baseball guy. But what's guy? he saying? How am I like Yogi Berra? Yeah, that's what he's thinking. Well, he's in the Hall of that's Fame. That's what he's he saying. <laughs> I think he is, isn't he? Yes. Yeah, he's in the Hall of Fame. He's a Hall of Famer. I kill on stage. I'm smarter <laughs> than the average mongoloid. <laughs> I kill. Uh, oh, she's just going for the coffee. I yeah. thought she was going to slam you again. <laughs> she's hot. She's yeah, funny, man. We all acknowledge that your no, wife just, to be is hot. Just funny, hot. And we got you know to see her mean? boobs today. That was a, a special treat for everybody. Yeah, she did that for everybody. You didn't see? Oh. Miss no. everything. No, she, Miss she's a team all. player. One huh? time I did a uh -oh. uh, tough crowd, and I, you know, we had to do a message to the troops. And oh, I so remember that. For the female troops, I flashed my breasts. Yeah. And, um, but before I did it, I had to check them in the mirror in the green room and to make sure that I would arch my back properly or whatever. And Norton was on the show, and he didn't know that I was going to do it. He just walked by and saw me <laughs> checking. It was <laughs> 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 in the mirror like, I just do that before every show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A little show prep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> Sad thing is Norton had his nuts up around his belly button at the time. <laughs> Look what I can do. Show and tell in the green room. See, they're not all killers. No, they're not. <laughs> no. So what happens, you, 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 get greedy, you get greedy and you wear yourself thin, well, and I that's where I come in. For the I shouldn't knockout. have done the stuff you wrote. That's all. Oh. Oh, I'm rubbing your glue. I'm sorry. That's very juvenile. So well, I'd like to hear a little bit of this for oh, sure. I'd love to Everyone's just no, bitching I, on instant feedback. Just a little off. bit. Stop it. it. It is really I can't watch my own first open mic tape, so. Yeah, yeah, I, I bet. Understand. It's just I too cringe. Yeah, Vaughn really showed cringe. his old tape. I showed oh, my old tape. Yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah, we need an hour oh, and a half please. with this stuff, Oh, we'll, just, we'll only hear it a minute of this. That's all a couple minutes. Oh, no. Here we go. It's a uh, preview. Ant and I doing our first radio show together, yes. <laughs> it's 11 years ago. Close to 11 years ago. Please, please just keep that in mind. Rock shot. Oh, I can't even look. Oh, it's gonna get bad. I can't even look. <laughs> Long Island's best rock, WBAB, Soul Asylum. Black Gold, Steve Miller, and the latest from REM. What's the frequency, Kenneth, as you do the nighttime attitude? It's Opie aboard. Thanks for checking out the program aboard. tonight. And we got another fine show planned for you guys tonight. Mm -hmm. We got my pals Joe and Anthony from Rotgut live in the Hello. studio. Opie. How you doing, man? Good, man. Uh, just in case people don't know who you are yet. Yeah, well, all oh, that, that they are the all famous, the, time. the famous authors of uh, Gun Electric Shock OJ, which mm -hmm. you're going to do live on the show tonight. That's right. And you're going to do other uh, ditties. So, so yeah, yeah, other so wacky, goofy stuff, Obi. <laughs> <laughs> I have to, like, be putting on a voice every second I'm on the air. I have to be over the top. Oh, this is the it's worst. It's just this is so painful to Why, listen to. What was going on with that? It was kind of like, that hey, Opie, how you doing? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, too, just and just shut up. You're too happy to be there. You think, I'm going to be able to hang up my wrench after this night. That's you know? pretty much and what Opie's I'm thinking. And Opie's going, you know what? No one's going to make this work a maintenance man. You know? <laughs> yeah, but you guys made it, so don't, it's not that bad. Oh, it's really it's not that bad. Awful. Oh. Let's hear more. Yeah, oh. I, I thought that was pretty good. I kind of like the music. Shut up, Jimmy. <laughs> They're just, Jimmy's just wincing in the corner <laughs> listening to this. Yeah, other wacky, kooky stuff over here. <laughs> We're a little bitter. We gave Eddie better the idea to do that. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That's what someone just said. You know, they heard Pearl Jam's version of Sitting on the Dock of the Bay, and they were expecting uh, to hear the OJ version. Uh, <laughs> he I sounded like he was heavily sedated. <laughs> <Right. Yeah. laughs> All right, I need a ruling. I started a new oh. bit yesterday. Celebrity Death Watch. Right, yep. All right, you might have you might have heard this. Oh, yeah. right. You know what? Hey, what? In 11 years, you went from boring host to boring host. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're consistent, and that's very important in this world. Yeah, thank you. Oh, very, uh... Stern will never say that you guys copied from him again. <laughs> yeah. God, Wait, can I get damn. Little, I, I want, can you rewind that just a little bit? Like, Are you sweating? I am sweating. I'm sweating, so sweating so over here. This I'm is... all hot. I'm sweating. What? I'll so bad. It's horrible. <laughs> what? You're really sincere no, no. and Genuine? Right, it's awful. I can hear like five seconds back because you say something about the celebrity thing and you like I think you respond like it's, Fuck you, like, Jimmy! It's, shut up! It's, it's a great you idea. Suck. Wait, I want to hear the response. Oh. It's very funny. <laughs> he sounded like he was heavily sedated. <laughs> <though>. <laughs> yeah. All right, I need a ruling. I started a new bit yesterday. Celebrity death watch. Right? Yep. All right, you yeah, might have yeah, been. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, have another drink, you alcoholic. <laughs> Oh, God. So hey, it's, when uh, did it like change for you guys? <laughs> when we uh, when when I guess when we stopped really giving a fuck. Yeah, yeah, I guess yeah, when uh, you started well, ask, stopped asking for rulings, right? right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah <laughs> shut up, <laughs> God, you suck. Oh, he's well, back then we still me. had to listen to bosses. So right, you had to do right. all this stuff. I right? wasn't. Uh, even I'm employed. sure that somebody put you up to this. Well, hey. <laughs> I wasn't even employed by the, the the station. I was just a guy that was coming in off right. the street. Uh, Kind of like Voss. Just, just not. Right. Just, I had street smarts. <laughs> and, and I was coming in just hoping he, to make something. He would it. fix appliances for airtime at the studio. He was the maintenance guy. Right. Yeah. Was not. No, he, no, he wasn't. wasn't. I was oh, that's a bad air story. You went from maintenance guy to satellite radio. Air conditioning and heating. I installed air conditioning ductwork. Yeah. Uh, but not at the station. And then I had a band, oh, and then I had a band that did song parody, so yeah. I came in, and what I was trying, like my my dream and goal, <laughs> was to get on the air full time and make a living of it. So uh, anytime I was on the air, I was so happy, 
happy to be there that I was so over the top, and it's just awful. Right, yep. I, shut up. Uh, I that's not bad. You. That's not bad. Right, I, I like actually, awful. Can I hear that question? No. I, actually, I actually like that part. I think it, it's a nice chemistry. No! Stop it. This is a, I can't take this. All right, I need a ruling. I started a new bit yesterday. Celebrity death watch. Right, yep. All right, All right. you might have you might have heard this oh, last yeah. night. Monday, Jessica Tandy, the old broad from uh, Driving <laughs> Miss Daisy, died. Hey, I'll take that contract. How old is she? <laughs> <laughs> How old is she? How old is she? Right, I can't. I, I can't. No, no, it's really good. I can't it's really good. That was a good one. Shut up. <laughs> She's dead. You'll take the contract. You'll take I, the I get it. I can see what they saw on these two right out of the shoot. Absolutely. You know? What the hell were they thinking? No, I think it's really good. No, this is so bad. I can't. Hey, it's opening in the air conditioning, guys. <laughs> <laughs> How did that not come up? I like you got to go through those oh. different, uh, make little train I'm jokes oh, or my. carrier. I'm six Come minutes on. away from walking off this show, man. <laughs> uh, let's Maybe see. your compressor's broken. <laughs> bing, bing. Bruce Kelly is laughing at us. I like the agreeing, though. You guys make Donna Mike sound like, uh, fuck! <laughs> I forgot oh, wow. the show name. It was supposed oh, to be good for you, you yeah, fuck. Right, yep. Yeah, Jesus. but what's it say about the other guys that are out there when you were a maintenance guy and now you have your own show? I mean, that's yeah. amazing. That's really amazing. I hate to look at it, Dave. Way to look at it. I, I, I know, look at it. And is so uh, cloyingly happy to be there. He's like one of the Jews in Schindler's List. I am vital to the war effort. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you, you guys don't need to hear any more, right? I'd love this to hear some more. I want to hear some more of this. Right? Good yeah. stuff, because back then, this was over the edge, over the top. This Take that edgy. contract. How old is she? <laughs> it's 85. Oh, please. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I don't know about you, but I've always been under the... Uh, oh, God. I, I, celebrities die in threes, basically. Always. Oh. Always, right? So it's the Celebrity Death Watch. I guarantee two more prominent celebrities will die <laughs> before October 1st. So we're just waiting and watching. Celebrities die in three, but radio hosts die in two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like the stuttering that you brought into it. That was good. Everybody knows celebrities die in two. Oh, my God. Oh, no, I really so liked bad. it. I'm sure I really liked it. I, I really... want to find a hole to bury it. No, I really enjoyed yeah. this. You should sell this CD. Oh, it's charity. already on the oh, internet. Oh, it is. I'd, like all over the place. I'd like to hear a little more. I, I would like to hear that. more. Opie, I would really Luker. like to hear more. Yeah, you got to remember this was our first. Absolutely, uh, our first show together. Good stuff. No, but he was George a, Burns in the hospital the it other was a day. Close call, but, very close call. But he got out of it. Yeah. Ninety-eight years old. He has like his brain is swelling. He, he pulled out. And he pulled out of it. I was like, darn. <laughs> I always wanted to see. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what are you, wow. lady, what are you, the lady from Misery? <laughs> Did you, did you shake your fist in the air, did you? <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, this is very you difficult. Know, when, when this was taped, Gina Lola Bridget had only been dead for 22 years. <laughs> Darn! This isn't fun when it's you. Oh, this sucks <laughs> ass. God, right? Yep. I can't. Darn! Darn! Oh, got it. The goofus and gallant hour. <laughs> yeah, right. Good point. Good point. Shucks. Can Darn. I say shucks uh, in the air? Is shoot too strong a word? <laughs> oh. oh, we're in trouble now. We've PO'd the bosses. The day oh. after this is when oh. Bob Grant got so angry. <laughs> Oh. I really want to hear more. Uh, well, though. that's all. No, no, I want to hear oh, more. That's all I brought. Fiddle no, sticks. You've got to have an hour stuff. of that stuff. Oh, come on. Yeah. It's oh, like, really? darn. I always darn. wanted to see George Burns singing um, oh. that, that extreme song. If you don't like, like what you see here, <laughs> get the funk out. <laughs> Oh, but he never around. does that. Very good. <laughs> I turned back around. You kind of said funk like the other word. Kinda. Yeah, yeah, that was to ooh, yeah. very blue. That was George wow. Burns doing Carson there right I there. I cannot even take this. <laughs> Why? I, because <laughs> it's it's just too embarrassing. It's embarrassing. What are you it's good stuff. Did you guys use this as a demo tape? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, this is why you got fired in Boston. Actually, <laughs> actually, we used a lot of this and two other shows we did to get our job in Boston. Yeah. No, fuck As How a demo tape? I'll try to find the demo. Over for? Really? <laughs> <laughs> it, like, I can't imagine anyone listening to this and going, yeah, this is the show we want. Well, maybe that uh, maybe that interview about the Star Trek convention was on just ahead of it. <laughs> but, yeah, what happened what was my batteries were dying. That's what happened. <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, No, I really, actually, I mean, for 11 years ago, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. Yeah, no, maybe now it. after he's bopped on the head. But I need a ruling. I got an obituary. Patrick O'Neill, 66. Mm. People are going, Patrick, Patrick who? Now, I said it has to be a prominent celebrity. This guy was, 
in Stepford Wives, 1975. Ooh. What do you think? Uh, it's on the fence. Is he prominent let me, let me see, Joe. What do you think? I, uh, I, I rule me. No. 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 All right. So it's still one with two celebrities one. to go two weeks from now. Two to go. <laughs> two to go. All right. Well, we're going to debut real fast a, uh, a song from Rod Cut. <laughs> Yeah, about yeah. the uh, Cuban refugees. Right. There was a, a Billy Joel made a tribute to the Bayman. Right. And we figured, you know, why not go to the other southern half of the states and make a little tribute to the Cuban boat people. Let's. I huh? can't wow. even stand. I like the music the... bed and you... playing underneath it. Oh, there's got to be music bed playing in the background. I don't right? know what that is. That's a law. How did you those... cash the paycheck? How did the... <laughs> Just cashed it. I That's know. amazing. How did the four fans keep up with all those rulings? <laughs> How many rulings do you do a day? Oh, I need another ruling. I need a ruling. Oh, uh, presiding over I the know. show. He's I, not get, I, get, I know. I need a ruling. You should have had like a, I'd like a gavel that would come down. But <laughs> too late now. That was 11 years I ago. I bring you news from the north. Opie needs a ruling. <laughs> yes. I bring you news. The Opie and Rusty Burrell show. Uh, <laughs> oh. here's, here's a ruling. Get off the air. <laughs> what are you, Judge Wapner? But <laughs> it. Oh. <laughs> no, I, I want to hear more. I really like enjoy it. it. I, I like on. hearing all this stuff. We're going to go on break. I need a ruling. How many people think... <laughs> You know something? What? In all the years we've been doing radio, yeah. and I've been in the barrel quite a few times, yeah. this is the worst it, yeah. ever. Yeah, you shouldn't have even brought this up. Even you should never have brought this up. It's not even bad. Shut up, Jimmy. <laughs> no, it's really oh, not bad. Wait, right Jimmy now. is wincing wait. and laughing at him. I have Hold often on. wondered what George Burns would sound like singing a yeah. song, and thank <laughs> God I finally know. Because he's an old codger. He's going to be able to sleep tonight, finally, Jimmy oh, is. Five, uh, sign me up. There's about ten people oh. in the room. Let's take a ruling on how good this is. <laughs> Oh, I'd like to hear more of it. I really would. Some people are speculating that in 11 years, even Pat from Unaki uh, has a potential yeah. of having a radio career. <laughs> oh. Darn. <laughs> oh. uh, Rich Voss and Dave Mordell at Caroline's all weekend long. <laughs> With uh, Russ and, uh, and Bonnie. And, and uh, uh, that's tonight, tomorrow, uh, Saturday, Sunday. Back to the tape. Where, you, uh, Where am I? Doesn't matter. Back just play tape. a little bit more of it. That's just, this, I'm telling you. Oh, this is good. I am God, in Washington. I am in Washington D.C. and uh, Dallas in June. Uh, th this is going to be a cliffhanger. It's a cliffhanger. Dan Anthony, XM202. Don't have to worry about me, but I did order a dresser. Thank you. You did. Thank you. Yes. Breaking news on the Opie and Anthony program. <laughs> a dresser. I. I. Where will... have you kept your clothes up until now? On the floor. Are you kidding me? No. Stop man. it. Do... Hold I... it. Hold it. I can't even believe this. Hold on, Sally. Okay. Your your clothes have been piled up on the are floor. piled on the floor of your room, Anthony. I how long have you been there? Uh, three years. Three years you haven't had a dresser. No. What is wrong with you? I just like li I live differently. I I can't. I don't know what it differently? is. Differently? That's differently than than anybody in this country. I like being kind of. Uh, I I like having the feeling that I'm like a free spirit, and I don't know free spirit. I did like you're squatting. I finally got like a CD slash DVD rack too, because all my CDs and DVDs were just kind of thrown around the living room, you know, on the floor. Yeah, I have a. Aren't real... you afraid? Now I know. Look, I know you got a, a nice uh, apartment, very nice area. Ooh. Aren't you afraid that you're gonna put your pants or underwear on and like maybe a roach or a rat, uh, a mouse turd or something is gonna be in there? Mm, not really. No, you nah. don't care. No, nah, not really. That would freak me out. I've been wearing the same jeans for seven days. <laughs> but I'm not smelly or anything. Hmm. You know. All right. I have good hygiene. Good hygiene. <laughs> I have good hygiene. How did you... Now, d where did you buy this dresser? I'm fascinated. Just around uh, uh, around my neighborhood. You didn't find it out on the sidewalk. No, 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 no. no. I, I've been buying nice stuff. It's yeah. just, I, it's just uh, been a very slow process. I don't know. Very slow process. In three years. Uh, three years to get a dresser goes beyond a slow process. Yeah, that's beyond a slow process. I understand. I'm getting it together slowly. Wow. Yeah. I am stunned that you just kept your clothes on the floor. I get them cleaned and all, and then I just pile them up nice. That's all. <laughs> and then when you <clears throat> you need to get dressed, you just, like, look through the pile. You don't have... You... No, I have it, I have it kind of organized, you know. Shirts, yeah. jeans. Yeah. In piles? In yeah. piles on the floor. Yeah. Do you have a bed? A really nice bed. <laughs> it's a nice bed? Yeah. But is it just a mattress on the no, floor? No, 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 no. It actually has a headboard? No. Are you insane? You don't have a headboard type bedroom set? 
I have I have the mattress and the box spring and the little uh, little. Uh, you have a metal frame. Yeah. That the mattress and box spring sits on, and that's it. That's it. You have no headboard. It's not important to no me. No night tables. No. Where you take your change and put it out, no. and your watch and put it. This is stuff human beings do. Yes. No, but it doesn't bother me. Where's your alarm clock? I know you say you don't need it and don't use it, but where is it? No, I do need it because of the new hour. I, I uh, It's on the floor. It's on the floor. Yeah. How high up is your bed? Because I know my bed is pretty high it's up. It's really high because I got the extra mat, you know, the extra whatever pad Can you and see stuff. the clock from your bed? No. <laughs> of course not. You're living like a homeless guy shacked up. I know. It's cool in a way. It has that college feel to it. College feel. But really nice stuff. Bag of marshmallows in the room just in case you really want that college feel. <laughs> but a really nice really nice stuff, though. I got a really nice you Nice know, stuff? TV what stuff? Sound system. You need stuff to have nice stuff. I, I have stuff. I got couches, a leather chair. I got some nice things. I would think. I bought bedroom. a $500 uh, uh, piece of art, so I'm starting. How... Not art though. It's art smart. How about a bed? It's just I have a bed, but you a really no. nice bed. Uh, having a mattress on that stock metal frame that you get with from the, the box mattress spring. company. I understand with the box spring. Oh, you want to just decorate it up nice? No, it's that, it serves a purpose. A headboard. It 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 it, it has like um, drawers and stuff in it, and little sliding compartments. I can't be bothered with that. I, I don't have, have that either. No, I have a frame. I like a metal frame around it, like a. a, a like a, 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 a metal headboard in a way. Oh, that's nice. But I've seen those. Like that, yeah. My my headboard has like cabinets on the sides of it. So let's say I have some uh, Joey Buttafuoco pants for walking around the house in, and some T-shirts in there. You get out of bed, it's right there. You open up the little drawer there. I could keep my DVDs that I like watching uh, in the bedroom over there on the side. How do you, how do you live with just a mattress box spring on a metal frame? I don't have a TV in my bedroom. You have no TV in your bedroom. No, because I want to. Do you, Jimmy? No, but it's simply because I'm such a bad sleeper that they yeah. said only only sleep in your bedroom and it'll be, make it a little easier for you. Yeah, some here. people. I'm not going to bash you for that. Some people just don't like having TV. No, in I don't. Your bedroom. Like, I don't like having. Uh, no, nah. it would be cool at times, but no, no. I don't really have room anywhere I'm, in my room. I'm I'm just a dresser. You finally got a dresser. Yeah, yeah. It comes Friday. Comes Friday. It's gonna be a little weird. Yeah. Where'd you get it? Is that a place around the my hood? It's oh, just like it's a, a furniture store. Yeah, it's, a, it's a nice dresser. It's 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 whatever. Yeah, it's whatever. Yeah. All right. Three years. I know it's it's weird. Is I, it a wood dresser? Yeah. It's nice wood, dude. When I do buy stuff, I don't I don't buy cheap stuff. Yeah. The problem is buying the stuff. Yeah. You know, I spent like uh, I, I don't know what I just said, but about six hundred dollars on a really nice photograph. Yeah. That Ooh. takes up half my uh, wall and stuff, you know. What? So when I do finally buy stuff, it's I don't go cheap, no. You stack clothes on it. <laughs> <laughs> You're painting. It's, it's a picture slash table. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, all right. I have to get a can of pledge now for the wood. Oh well, the maid does that. No, she does Housekeeper. that. Housekeeper. And then she tells me what I need. You know, she'll well, point at stuff like more. Now it's more, more work for her. More this, more that. You know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, congrats on your dresser. Thank you. That's a big move. Three years. Thank you. Hey, this is Ridge Voss from Last Comic Standing, season one and season three. And I was also a judge on season two. You are listening to Opie and Anthony. So uh, I got a, I got a, uh, an apartment update, Anthony. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Another fun thing happened to me in my apartment this morning. More wildlife, is it? Uh, well... Thanks for getting right to the punchline. I really appreciate it. It's really uh, sorry. It's really going to help my story. I was just Thanks. throwing some out Thanks. there. It could have been a Java log. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Oh, well. No suspension left in this story. Well, I, 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 <laughs> Remember my brother the other day when he was passed out on my couch after his colonoscopy? Uh-huh. You know, and and the mouse was running around. Right. And I finally caught that mouse uh, later that day after he left. I told the whole story on the air. That's what I was referencing. It'll probably be uh, replayed over the weekend. That's what's cool about the weekend shows on 202. It plays all the shows from the week. Right. So you can catch up in one day or two days. Yeah, you really don't have to listen to the show during the week. I hate to <laughs> tell people that, but you could you could catch up on a Saturday and Sunday. They just run yeah. them in order, right? Yeah. So you'll hear that story over the weekend, but... um. Uh, he w woke up from a daze and saying, you think there's only one mouse in this apartment? <laughs> oh. uh, 
and that thought's been in my head the whole time. So every time I go into my my really cold kitchen, that is yeah. blocked off from the rest of the apartment by a door, kind of. I have to open that door, and I, I'm always just like no heat. Uh, it's really cold in there. I mean, there's a heater and stuff, but that that's why this door is up just to kind of you know. I don't really need the the kitchen being like kind of a bachelor dude, so you know. <laughs> right, no cooking going Not on. Not really. In there. I mean, a little bit here and there. So, uh, so, but every morning or at night, even I'm opening that and just waiting for something to be on the counter again or something like the last time. Yeah. And I swear, every time, just like, oh God, please, please, you know. Sometimes making noise just in case there is, it could just scurry away. And you don't have to see him. Right. So uh, this morning. I go downstairs and I'm on the computer as my coffee's brewing. It's 4 a.m. I'm ah. ready for a ready for a fine day of radio with my pal Anthony. There you go. Time to check the headlines, read a little email, start of a new day. See if the Hot 97 crew got fired yet. Right. See if we're in the paper today. You know all the fun stuff we do every morning, mm -hmm. right? And then I'm like, ah, the coffee's done. Ah. Do, 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 go upstairs, all happy, you know, just in my long johns, because I just, you know, rolled out of bed, no shirt, no socks. Which, Ooh. Which I'm, it's, it's kind of key to the story, though. That's the only reason I'm saying it. So, uh, so I, I'm like, ah, coffee, you know. And, and yes, I did go in there and, and start the coffee maker, and then I just closed the, the door, so I'm thinking nothing of it, all right. Apartment's pretty dark, because my eyes are still adjusting. Do you do that in the morning, by the way? Uh, I have all my lights on dimmers, mm. and I keep it really, really low when I first wake up, and slowly but surely, it's almost like the sun's coming up in my apartment. I'm, I, I, as as that hour goes by, I'm like turning the lights up. Turning you know, the lights up more. No, I'm not that calculated. No, it's not even a, being calculated. I mean, you know, when we first started doing uh, morning radio, that bright light first thing in the morning in the apartment would kill me. It would go yeah. right through me. So I try to keep it pretty dark, I think. Yeah. yeah, so it's pretty. So it's still very early, so the apartment's very dark with just slight dimmers on so I can get to the, excuse me, the dark kitchen. So all happy, and I open the kitchen door, right? A little I'm, oil, huh? I'm getting ready to reach for my coffee cup, and I hear my garbage pail. <laughs> Rust, rust, rustling. Really loud rustling. Really loud rustling. And now it's dark in the kitchen. I'm there, and I'm like, oh, my God. The first thought was you describing a subway, New York oh, City subway rats. rat. Yeah. Because this is loud rustling. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Was uh, the pail moving at all? Uh, No. Wasn't jumping around? That would have helped the story, but no. I'm, I'll, I'll yeah. tell it how it is. No. Right. I should have said that. But you heard it. No, I heard it. Rustling. No, and, and the rustling was very loud, okay? And I just had like a, I didn't have a, a, a garbage bag in there because I just emptied the garbage last night because that's my new thing is emptying garbage every uh, every day, just keeping all food out of yep. the apartment. So, but uh, I forgot I had a little snack or whatever last night, so I had a little uh, grocery bag, you know, with a couple mm -hmm. things and that's it, at the bottom of the garbage. So it was in there. I'm like, oh, my God. And I'm thinking how you were describing these nasty New York City subway rats. I'm like, They're the size of cats. And I'm like, oh, my God. My heart went up into my throat again. Yeah. Now I have to turn the light on. I'm like, oh, God. I turn the light on, and and I look into the pail, and sure enough, it is just, you know, rustling. I think it knows I'm in there now, and it's now just trying to get out, but it's kind of like, you know, tangled in the bag, I guess. I'm like, holy ass. So, what? So now I'm ready to... Be just the biggest wimp and just run away and just or kick the pail and then run and let it just hide. But I'm thinking this is my opportunity to get another one of these things out of my apartment. True, he's already trapped. So I'm like, oh god, oh god, oh god. So I I pick up the little pail, and it's in there and the rustling is really loud. I'm like, this effing thing is gonna jump out of this oh, freaking pail. Oh, jumped out right on you. Oh, that's what I'm thinking. That's what you think, right? It's gonna jump right on you. Which would literally, I'm not even kidding, I think I would have a heart attack. you just die right there. I would have a heart attack, and I still don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a mouse, a rat. So, I mean, there's no real great ending to the story, but, you know, now I have, you know, no shoes, shoes or socks on, just long johns, no shirt, and I just grab my keys, and I'm, I'm just carefully, I'm carefully carrying this pail, like I don't want to, you know, you know, shake it too much because I don't want to, you know, this thing to totally panic and get out of here, you know? Out. So I'm, like, carefully, you know, carrying the pail out of the apartment like it's a bomb or something. You know, I'm like, oh, my God. Get outside. Obviously, it's five degrees. I'm freezing my ass off. Now I'm like, I need to know what it is. So I just emptied the garbage, you know, right on the sidewalk. You just and, dumped it out? Oh, yeah. Now I'm just waiting for it to, to make its appearance, you know. And, unfortunately, there's no great end to the story. And, finally, 
Mouse number two. Did you see him? Oh, yeah, I saw him. Yeah? Mouse number two start, uh, you know, uh, walks out of the, not walks, just finally, you know, runs out of the uh, the garbage. So the first one had a friend. And then I kind of chased it a little bit down the sidewalk because I'm like, I got, because you, you, you're an idiot. You get these thoughts mm -hmm. in my head. I'm, you know, I, I remember you saying, well, maybe the, the mouse is going to come back into the apartment. True. So I, I'm running down, not running, but walking, you know, following it down the sidewalk a little bit as it's going over snow piles, looking at it like, is this the same mouse? I'm like, How eh. would you know? <laughs> oh, because I studied the last one because, remember, it was staring at me at, right? from the TV? Yeah. And this one looked like it was smaller. So I'm like, tell me there's just a, just a bunch of mice. They're probably And then are. you said in the office that, when I was seeing the mouse, that one mouse, that it was probably a bunch of them that I was seeing. Could have been. Yeah, maybe you weren't looking at one mouse. There's probably like five mice in there that you're looking at, and now you're going to see them. You're a, you're a ground floor guy, so that's right. Well, here's the problem. Ground floor guy, older apartment. I mean, it's a really nice apartment. It's a real old building. And they did a lot of construction to the uh, brownstone next to me. Oh, I mean, a lot. Like uh, drives all the rodents. Oh, uh, I mean, where the whole my apartment was shaking all summer long. Yep. So I'm thinking they, you know, they shook things up, which uh, makes you know things want to like you know move on. Yep. So obviously I got to get the the mouse traps now. You got I, vermin. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not convinced that that's it. I got two of them out so far. Are you gonna get the humane traps or the ones that no, snap their necks F, off? F no. I want to hear that. Bam! In the middle of the night, and know you got one. Oh yeah, one that. Then they all they end up. It's so sick to to look at the trap after that. Sometimes maybe they just got a leg. Sometimes it's like right across their back, and sometimes it gets th their head and neck where it crushes it. You don't want to look at that. No, it's kind of horrific. All bloody. No, my brother. Mouse head. My my brother told me what to do. He says get the mouse traps and throw them in bags. Makes cleanup a lot easier, he said. Wow. Because he, you know, I told you, he used to live on the Upper East Side, way uptown, where uh, it was just nasty. You get like a paper lunch bag? Yeah. And you put the mouse trap in there. Yeah, with mouse a little cheese. In. Uh, or actually, my brother, he's like an expert. Because he used to live, I told you, he lived with his rugby pals. What and, a great idea. And they had rats where they, you know, they were so drunk all the time. They were excited <laughs> when they heard a rat in their kitchen. They all just went hunting. No joke. And th these are, you know, rugby guys that have to outdo each other. So, of yeah. course, you know, they're not like me running away from a stupid little mouse. They're like, watch, what I, watch what I could do. Yeah, exactly. Just Bite getting stupid. Off. Right. So, but, but he says peanut butter works the best. He goes, oh, it's peanut butter, mouse trap in a bag, no problem. And Clean up you, is a breeze. You hear the snap or you look snap. in the bag, you see something furry. Wanna, yeah. You just roll the bag up and throw it away. Done. That is pretty smart. Done. Never heard of that. Yeah, someone's saying I need a glue trap. Now that's those I, are disgusting. Yeah, because now the no, nah, I can't. The mouse is trapped, all stringy with the glue. No, nah, I can't. I can't look at that crap. No way, Ben. What's they come up? under your door too. They can. Yep. They can get under. You have to get oh, the thing. I have them on my door. No, 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 no. You got You just got to go to the hardware store. You've got to block any room under your door. Because I had one. That's how he got in. They, they flatten I don't know out. It's it. amazing. Yeah. Don't yeah. tell me that. Are you serious? Yeah. That's all you got to do, though. They'll never come back. That's you how they get in. You get a piece of metal weather stripping yeah. or something. No, there's something the between door. my refrigerator and the counter. There's like a, you know, there's a, a space. Yeah. Because I once saw a really big one. This is where it all started. About a year ago, I saw a big one. And I, I think I brought it up on the show when we first started. Maybe I didn't, or maybe I... Because I, I don't know the difference between the radio show and just hanging out with all you I guys. I know. So we forget what we talked about. We forget, about. but uh, it was when my, my uh, brother was over with his family and left... Oh, I told you all that with the, uh, the, the stuff that all their food was laid out, and mm -hmm. I went in, went in the kitchen one day, and there was a big one <laughs> munching on the trail mix, and I freaked disgusting. out, and I left so fast that <laughs> I thought it was a mouse, but everyone's like, well, <laughs> if you think you saw a mouse, it, it really means it's a rat. Yep. But I saw the thing quickly kind of turn around and go between the uh, refrigerator and the counter. So that's and where they're coming from. Hole in the wall back there, Probably maybe. something. Yeah. So i got to get my loser landlord that could care less about, uh, you know, making his tenants happy. I'm going to have to raise holy hell and get him in there. Call an exterminator. Yeah, I guess. Get him in there. Mm, professional. So, so there you have it. Let's see. Uh, Mike in Kansas City. What's up, Mike? Hey, uh, I just want to let Opie know those uh, he should cover every crack and crevice. Those mice can squeeze through a hole the size of a nickel. Yeah, I've seen that, man. It's pretty weird looking. These mice can get anywhere. If you think your house is mouse-proof, uh, forget about well, it. Well, you know, under the door, 
I get the traps today, simple as that. You know, eventually they're going to get the hint. When they start smelling other mouse death, <laughs> mouse I think... Mouse death. Well, you know, these yeah. animals know that crap. Mouse holocaust going on in Opie's house. Yeah, All right, guys, I'm punching out. All right, thanks. And then he put me out in the cold and let me sit here all night. <laughs> it was six degrees. <laughs> he didn't let me in. Ah, uh, Jeff in D.C., there what's up? There were paper bags hey, with the corpses of my friends inside them. <laughs> Awful. Yeah, pretty bad. Go ahead, Jeff. You're going to set these traps? Hey, hold on, hold on. Sorry. You're going to set these traps? I got to... Roll tape, please. I have to see you setting a mouse trap. Why? You know how nerve-wracking it is to set those things? No, I could do that. That's... Oh, no. He hit it right on the head. You gotta get an exterminator. Why do you even want to deal with this? Yeah. I dealt with this once, and I got an exterminator, and I got the things fixed, and I never had the problem again. Yeah. You know, they disgusting. carry the bubonic you wanna... plague, you know. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. It's something. It's something behind the refrigerator. God knows when something we moved out of the refrigerator. <laughs> Playing hide and seek. Something behind the fridge. Da -da! <laughs> uh, go ahead, Jeff. Hey, Opie, you gotta get the green bait cubes. The what? Yeah. They're green bait cubes. They're bait poison. Cubes. Uh huh. You throw them behind your refrigerator, behind the stove. They eat this stuff. If they've got young, they take it back to feed their young, and uh, they they literally hemorrhage from the inside. And they die in the walls, and you smell rotting death. mammal. That's what I was gonna say. That's why I don't think I could go the poison route, because then nope. now you got the smelly dead corpses, dead uh, mouse in your walls. They're back in the wall. You won't find it. Yeah, you you'll smell, smell it. it. Yes, you will. Dead rotting meat. <laughs> Yeah, you got to get him out of there. All right, thank you, Jeff. All right, punch it out. Bye. Let's say hi to Brian. Hey, Brian. Hey, Opie. Yeah. Listen, first of all, it's freaking cold out here. I'm like an hour away from New York, and it's minus 15, so yeah, I'll take you five degrees anytime. Where are you? But nice. Where? Yeah. I'm heading I'm head down Route 17 going towards, uh, like, Nanuet. It's like an oh hour away. Oh, my God, it's brutally cold anyway, up that way. Uh, I had my I used to live in Newburgh, and... First of all, I'd hang out in the stove, right? I actually had some food out there, and I, my girlfriend was staying over for the night, and, like, I came out downstairs, and, like, the food's all eaten. I, I accused her of eating the food, and she's like, I didn't eat the food, but it was a freaking mouse. So what you do is you take some bastard. coconut. I know you don't get out to the store much because you're a bachelor and everything, but if you happen to go pass by a grocery store, grab a coconut, take a piece of coconut and, like, toast it with a match, put it on the uh, mouse trap, and guaranteed you'll have a mouse. Guaranteed. Ah, peanut butter works. Yeah, but. all right. What kind of scumbag are you that you're bitching at your chick for eating food? No, she was bitching oh, at him, right? She made a mess. Well, I think he was mouse. bitching at her for taking the food. Oh, really? Like, were you eating the food? What, Dude, how what, much... were you stranded somewhere? And, and what? And how much did the mouse eat that you're bitching that your chick was eating it? And is your chick anorexic? Because yeah. what? You're, you're noticing that the, a tiny little uh, dime-sized piece of food is missing? <laughs> you get fat, I'm leaving you, bitch. <laughs> right. <laughs> Would you have a scrap of bread, you bitch? <laughs> what an animal. All right, I, I figured I'd share. We don't have to talk about mice. Mice. You know, that's, I hate mises. But you know, it's an update. Mouse number two has been caught. Yep. And I just, I now I'm convinced there's at least another one, if not more. Good there, luck, it's you so city obvious dwellers. Now. Good luck. I adore the suburb. You know what I see as far as wildlife? Mm. I'll see a little squirrel outside on my porch, or I'll see a a bluebird in the tree. <laughs> whipper will, whipper will. <laughs> or then I look. Oh, what's? It's a little kitten. Is walking on the porch. I think I'm going to take him out a piece of my chicken I had today. Yeah, that's the wildlife I like. I don't like city cockroaches and mice and rats cohabitating with me. I haven't seen the cockroaches lately. I had a couple of those, too. Oh, But this is all normal stuff for New York City apartments. They scurry when you turn the lights on. Yeah, it's so a little... You don't see them as much as you would a mouse. Yeah, it's a little creepy, uh, the cockroaches as well. So. You know what the worst... When I was living in Brooklyn, man, I'd be on the computer, you're sitting there, and then out of your peripheral vision, you just see something kind of move. That's right. Yes! And you look, and stuck on your wall is a cockroach. <sighs> and and they, the way they move, just... They're so fast and disgusting. The little antennas moving around. Oh God, you can't catch them. They're gone, and and they'll they'll disappear into like your couch, or or all of a sudden they're they're gone by your dining room table. You don't know where he went. 
Might be under there. Might be in between where you put the extra piece in when family comes over. <laughs> yeah. You're just hiding in there, eating the gunk that collects in there, <sighs> waiting to poke his head up during dinner. <laughs> all right, all Hi, right, all right. big city cockroach here. What's for dinner? You have a, a disgusting mess. You have a way of describing things, man. It is, I don't it is, like them. It is a true talent. Thank you, Opie. It really is a I, true talent. When when you, I lived in that apartment, how many horror. people could give me the heebie-jeebies? But oh. how you describe things, man. I give it. You ever play hopscotch walking down the street on a summer day? Where you're walking and all of a sudden these huge cockroaches are just winging back and forth along the sidewalk. And I'm not even talking about the ones you even see in your house, which are big. But these things on the street, you know, they're like the homeless cockroach. They're mm. just these huge things on the street that are walking over. We, we went out one night, me, my girlfriend, uh, uh, friends uh, that included other girls and stuff. And they're wearing these open-toed shoes. <laughs> and one girl actually had one walk over her open-toed shoe. And a scream that you'd only hear in a horror movie just comes out. And it, what happened? What? Uh, I'm picturing, you know, a gang of, of five people with knives stabbing her. No. <laughs> Cockroach. Oh, she didn't yell, uh, what, are you going to shoot me? Oh. We'll get into that story next. Which Tragic. Is horrific. But More um, animals on the street. Really fast being that. One time waiting for a subway. Yeah. Rat bumped into me. Bumped into you? Where? Shoulder, shoulder to shoulder. Oh, sorry, pal. <laughs> yeah. City no, rat. I'm on the platform, and, and just like you described, you know, sometimes these uh, these creatures get displaced, and they start just scurrying as fast as they can. Yep. Well, something was going on with this rat, and he just, you know, zigging and zagging, bump, you know, hit me in the leg, and then oh. jumped, jumped down onto the tracks. Wasn't going to take a nibble or anything, but no. just wanted to get to, you know, back into hiding or whatever. Nope. I don't know where it came from, but all of a sudden I just felt, boom, something hit my leg, and I look, and I, just in time to see it kind of go over the ledge into the tracks. I'll take a little raccoon in the suburbs. You see your garbage pail rattling around a little bit. You go to check it out. What pops his little head up? Oh, he's wearing a mask. Look, it's a little raccoon. Our pests are adorable out in the suburbs, aren't they? little raccoon. The ugliest thing you get is the, the possum walking around. It looks like he's perpetually smiling. Hi, I'm a possum. I'm just going back to the woods. Just came out for some of your suburban trash that's outside of your house. Fine, take a little away with you. Not these big, disgusting rats and bugs. Yuck. Well, we got a lot of phone calls coming in now, so uh, should we... Uh... Oh. They're giving me the heebie-jeebies just reading some of them. All right, now let's go to Mike the Trucker. Go ahead, Mike. Hey, guys. What's going on this morning? Hey. I had a horrible mouth story. Uh, we pulled a practical joke on a buddy of mine in college, and uh, the, the end result of the uh, practical joke was because of uh, mice that we introduced into his car. He was the kind of guy that his car, you know, he always had a bunch of trash and, like, uh, fast food shit in the back. Oh, the and, guys that uh, just throw it over their shoulder. Filthy. Please don't tell me this story ends with death. Cedar mice, you know, that like people have snakes. He's forging ahead with the story, Opie. Not stopping even for us talking. That's fine. Go ahead, Mike. (laughs) And uh, well, anyway, uh, listeners heard, and then Ah, now they're waiting. Find feeder mice and putting them in there, and uh, apparently they were breeding. Whatever. He was driving across campus. One of them jumped up like on the headrest, and it scared the shit out of him. He wrecked his car, and uh, (laughs) dude's like in a wheelchair. He's paralyzed (laughs) from the waist down now. Nice, funny joke. Damn it! I don't have my laugh button today. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it, uh, it's like they, you know, the guy was a real cocksucker, so it doesn't matter anyway. But uh, wow, that's yeah, really. Kinda, a... For a few minutes, we kind of felt bad about it. But... Scummy thing to do. All right. Anywho, all right, guys, punch it. All right, thank you, Mike. Let's go to Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Owen. Hey, how you guys doing? Good. Make it fast. We got to take a break and move on to other things here. Okay, man. Um, I just uh, had an apartment in Kansas City, uh, down by the plaza. I used to. Uh, uh, go downstairs at night, and I'd hear all this rustling around, you know, so I know what you're talking about. Oh, anyway, um, I set up uh, these mice traps down, uh, mouse traps down by uh, the kitchen, and these great big holes I thought were like for pipes or something. Anyway, the traps would be gone the next morning. They'd be gone. Uh, anyway, the, the, the so trap what? would be gone? The trap would be gone. <laughs> that's, a, that's a rodent with attitude, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, like, Someone's going to teach you a lesson. <laughs> oh, God. Stealing the traps. I, I tied like a wire to it Get and hooked it to the wall. Yeah. The next day, it was it was in there. It was in the in the wall. So I pulled <laughs> on wow. this thing, and this dang chihuahua-looking leg was on there. It chewed its own leg off. Oh, wow. It was a rat. 
chewed his leg <laughs> off. And uh, I, the one uh, there was a morning when I went downstairs. I opened up the door and I had do- I had a dog and uh, so I had like the dog food and everything sitting over there. I opened up the door, looked in there, and there was one sitting on the dog food eating. <laughs> and I look at him, I'm like, uh, "Excuse me," and I shut the door and I just walked back out. Yeah. Just leave him. You know, let him eat. You could call me a wimp, whatever, but I guarantee there's a lot of tougher guys than me out there that have been, uh, have been, uh, you know, scared s-less by uh, by these uh, rats and yeah, rats and 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 mice never and stuff. Want to deal with them. That's a good okay. story, Ryan. No, That's right, a- punch it out. <laughs> Rat can't stay down with three barrels right. in him. He's got a wire tied to the trap and it drags it right into the wall oh and chews his own rat arm off. <laughs> That is heinous. Uh, I, you know what? I'm not. I'm getting a hotel tonight. I'm not yeah. going to be able to sleep in my apartment. Oh, what would you do if you woke up and something was in the sheets with you? Nah. Nibbling at your toes or nah. Or just cuddling up for warmth by your feet. <laughs> oh. All right, my uh, apartment's going to be a hundred degrees starting Dude, tonight. I would lose <laughs> my mind. I can't have anything like even touching me. Right. You know, if something, if something brushed up against me while I was sleeping, I would lose my mind. I would scream. All right, let's get one more in before a quick yeah. break. Jim in the Poconos. Go ahead, Jim. Hey, what's up, guys? I work for the phone company. And, uh, when we're in Lower Manhattan in downtown Brooklyn, you can shine the flashlight on the wall in some of these basements, and the walls move. Yeah. They don't be in cockroaches, man. Oh. It's like you want to talk about it. It, it, it freaks you out. That's what it comes down to is the easiest way to put it. Can you imagine sleeping? And and you're sleeping with your mouth open, and a roach comes in and starts feeding on all your right, teeth and gums. All right. Oh, and you wake up like what? The and a big roach is in your mouth. Oh, huh. I want to move on, but Chris has a story here. Chris, right. go ahead. Hey, I'm a cop, and me and my partner got dispatched to a call about a raccoon in somebody's basement, and uh, we got there and opened up the door, and all of a sudden, this raccoon jumps out at me and my partner and chases us out of the basement. Chased scared you? the shit out of me, man. I've never been so scared in my life, even on, on robberies and stuff like that. Uh, you, you, you don't know what those things are going to do, and they will attack you. They'll come running out after you. Raccoons, yeah. yeah. That's why you just yeah, look so at them through, so your, through your sliding <laughs> glass door. That's it. Look, he's, he's all cute. Sometimes you get deer out there in the suburbs. You look out in your backyard. Hey, look, it's Bambi. Yeah. Yeah, but those things jump through glass sometimes. They, they, There's a story every year, a, a deer, you know, going through someone's glass. Running at full speed glass, into oh, a yeah. sliding glass door. And now they're stuck in your place just wreaking havoc. Bleeding all there over a, everything. There was a story this week. I, maybe we could find it or someone could send it in, that, that, that exact thing. Oh, the old guy? Yeah. Inside the house and a buck? Like ran into his house, yeah, and uh, started trying to have sex with him. <laughs> yeah, this big buck was like grabbing him with his hooves and trying to have sex with him. Do you have the actual story? That was this uh, week, right? Yeah. <laughs> How did Poor we miss a story codger. like that? How do you go through life and and it ends up you're getting raped by a <laughs> no. buck in your own in your own home? Ow! <laughs> Knocks him off his little rascal. Maybe he saw him on his rascal and thought it was another deer or something. Yeah. All right. It's horrible. This concludes our podcast day.